everyone, Base of here, and welcome to another session of Quarantine. I, did, I think I forgot, or I messed up the uh, dragon transition for coming from the intro screen. I'll fix that after stream. But uh, let's see. Cookie our, time. Well, we got cookie times already coming in. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Gops, what's going on, my dude? Uh, let's see. We left off last week. Uh, our party was in Welton, and they were about to go join the council meeting, if I remember correctly. And... Uh, Talking to all the, the people trying to figure out what is going on with the dwarves and how they're going to deal with that problem. Uh, we are down two players. Uh, Rokax is gone. Um, he'll be back next week. Uh, that was already scheduled. And Pancake just got a new job, so she's uh, having to do that today. Um, hopefully, we will get this all wrapped up, and then we will have the whole crew back together next week. Hopefully. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and say hello to our friends. And when I find the button... There comes the dragon. All right, works on that one. What's going on, friends? What's going on, my dude? Hey, guys. All right. You guys go ready to get this going? I got it. Yeah, I am more than ready. Hopefully, I remember where uh, my brain was going last week because I woke up late. So, uh, still kind of groggy. And let's see if we can remember where exactly we had left off. Uh, you guys were... Talking to oh, what were their names? Let's see. Uh, Attilus and Father Merrickson. They're the ones arguing in the little council room. Okay, I remember that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys were gonna go talk to them. Did did a conversation actually start? I don't remember if a conversation actually started. Um, um, it did because they we asked them if they needed help, and then they started getting a bit funny. So I, I asserted my. Elf size upon them. <laughs> That's um, right, and you tried to get more money yeah. out of them. Yes. Gotcha. No, I tried. Actually, no, I did. Yes, you are right. Yes, because they offered eight hundred gold. Yep. And I tried to get it to a thousand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's a hefty jump too. Two hundred more right. gold. Woof. Right. What's right. going on, chill? Uh, let's see. Okay, so you guys are uh, talking to the council meeting. Let's see if we can um, impromptu get into like you guys. We didn't have a week off. Um, so you asked for the more gold, they said no, and, uh, I guess you were trying to ask for some more information. I think we covered some of that. Um, I guess at this point, you guys go ahead and start asking questions or whatever. Uh, well, could we have a quick refresh? Uh, what happened? A quick refresh, uh, a quick refresh of the conversation they were having as we walked in. Um, yeah, th let's see. They were arguing on what, hey. What avenues to take uh, to take with the um, the wolves? I think that was Tillis the okay. wants the wolves wiped out. If I remember right, uh, no. And and the other wanted them kind of shooed away and looked after, right? Yeah. Um. Oh no, they were arguing about whether the vill villagers should be uh, exporting their grain and other food while the wolves are a problem right now because people are dying. Um, Tillis. Um, gets angry and he wants them dead, obviously. And um, that's I think that's all the information that we covered last week. Okay. Well, we know we're getting eight hundred for it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask: um, Has there been any sign of a, a wolf's den, perhaps? Because wolves, as you know, they they run in packs. Uh, yes. I'm trying to remember the voices I had for him. I think I gave him kind of like a weird gobbly voice. Um, let's see. Uh, do they, do you know of a den? Um, yeah, we'll have Tillis. Why, yes, we've had, uh, we've had many of hunter parties go and try to track these wolves down, but they seem very cunning. And I forgot to do the voice emulator, but whatever. That is good enough. <laughs> um, seems very cunning. Um, has any of your hunters returned recently? Yes, yes. Oh crap! What was that guy's name? Um, uh, Feather Rock. Uh, he's actually just above, above the inn, being treated for his wounds. He's uh, one of the few that has returned, and uh, unfortunately, he's uh, he's not in a good way. These wolves have been driving people from their farms and stealing their cattle, pigs, chickens. 
It's uh, quite a nuisance. Okay. Um, do you think he'll have any information he'll be willing to share with us? Featherrock? Yeah, Featherrock. I'm sure he would love to give you information. Uh, that is if he wakes up. But uh, I'm sure you'd be more than welcome to try. Okay, then. Um, well, is there anything else that you can tell us about the wolves? Anything about their movements, habits, anything? Uh, let's see. Well, in the last three months, there's always been wolves around in the woods. But they've gone through a, from a minor nuisance to a major threat to this village. And my compatriot over here doesn't seem that we should be wiping them out for the nuisance they are. And then Mer uh, Merrickson's going to come in and uh, he's going to just mention, uh, let's see. Yes, they may be indeed a threat, but we should be finding out the reason why uh, such a, these risks are taken and what is going on with here. The, I will have to bring a mention that it seems that uh, the town's protector, my, uh, my brother Alexei, when he went missing, these attacks began around the same time. And that was about three months ago. How badly was the soldier attacked, the one that's upstairs? Uh, he was just a, a farm man's... Uh, he was badly injured. Oh, wait. We gotta do it in a uh, voice. Uh, Featherrock was uh, very badly injured uh, when they went to hunt down the wolves. Uh, he was left badly damaged uh, by his experiences, both mentally and physically. Uh, he's currently laid up in the room uh, right up above yeah. us. Uh, he's being re regularly one... attended to. Um, I've been watching out for him. I was wondering, um, according to his injuries, when do you reckon he'd be um, uh, up to talking to someone about it? I know um, he's badly injured, but... Um, hmm. He, he, kind, he kind of comes and goes. So uh, Sometimes he's awake, and other times he's out for... 18 plus hours um so okay. yeah you're welcome to try see if he's awake uh, we do know uh that the wolves live in the woods that are west of the town uh but we're not exactly sure where okay um out of character real quick what time is it right now yeah uh it's about 2 p.m 2 p.m okay um because I think something tells me it'll be better to go and look now because the wolves will be kind of hidden away. Like, you usually wait until it gets a bit darker until they usually come out. Um, so they're all going to be in one place. So now would be the best time if we were going to attack them. Now would be the best time to go and do it. But I don't know. What, what do the party think? Um. I agree. I think it would be better to go when they're going to be least active. Okay. Uh, as you guys are kind of talking amongst yourself, uh, a stout man walks up and uh, introduces himself as like, Oi! I be Coral. I'm a member of the Fleecer's Guild. And uh, I've been working these heels for the uh, best part of 40 years. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions. About the local environment or the surrounding area. Cookie to the best of my ability. Apart What's up, Yuri? from the wolves appearing, um, have you noticed anything else new or unusual about the town? No. Nothing new or strange has been happening besides the wolf problem. Hmm. That sounds good, Yuri. Thanks for the bits, my dude. Here you go. Um, okay, then. Well, I I'm going to ask him... Um, uh, when you see the wolves, how many usually roam together? Is it many or is it few? Are uh, you asking Coral that? Yeah. Oh, we actually yeah, don't see the wolves. Ooh. They seem to be, uh, the only time we see them is when we go on an attack. And, uh, at that point, it's a, it's a blur, a flurry of gray and white 
seem to be dashing from the bushes and disappearing. Hmm. Okay. According to Featherrock, uh, anyway. Okay, then. Um... Uh, out of character, am I right to believe that the the wolves would have like a thing against fire? Sure. Sure, sure animals. Okay. Um, let me check my inventory real quick. Some stuff, I mean, some stuff. That, that'd be a common knowledge anyone would think, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, is there a store in Welton? Uh, like a general store. Um, a general store that will sell, I don't know, like, extra oil for your lanterns. Um, um, I actually don't have a tinderbox, so something to be able to, like, you know, um, other than my actual lantern to set fire to something would be quite useful. Um, so I'm thinking, good. yes, I need mean, oil and a tinderbox, really. Um, I think uh, Pancog has a tinderbox. Let me see. Let's see. Inventory. Nope. Really? No one no. has a tinderbox? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I could have swore someone did. Maybe it's Rokax. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> the one person that's laid hunter, out somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. The one guy that's paralyzed. Yep. Um, so, yeah, is there, is there, um, are their class as like common items, right? Yeah. Like I could, could find them in, in Welton. It's a big enough town. Yeah. Okay. Um, well then, I'd suggest. Um, or have the other party got any other questions for our little mountaineer friend? I have more questions for um, for Featherstone when he gets um, when he Featherbrook. Is it Featherstone? No, Feather Same thing, basically. <laughs> when, he, <laughs> when, he, when he wakes up, I, I think he may have more. Yari with the hundred more for us. You're going to Feather Rock's room? Is that what you just said? I said it would be best to ask him questions over the Mountaineer because yep. he's actually experienced the wolves. Yeah, yeah so we, I don't we, know we, what we, he's doing now. Yeah, that sounds good, yeah. Mm. yeah. So you're going to head I'm upstairs? Up yeah. Okay. Uh, as you head upstairs, uh, the room is small, uh, but it's well appointed. Uh, it has fresh flowers on a dresser. Um, you see a halfling lies on the bed. Uh, he's white-faced, soaking his own sweat. Uh, his left arm is bandaged, yeah. as is his right leg. Uh, and uh, he, he's just kind of taking those, like, looks like he's trying to breathe deeply, but they're very shallow breaths. He's obviously in pain, uh, but he is awake. Okay. Um... Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, everyone else go. I'm looking at my herb list. <laughs> okay. Echo is going to um approach him and say, uh, "Hi. We heard about your um your battle with wolves. Um, we were just wondering if there's anything that you could tell us that might help us, you know, defeat them or help your town in any way." All right. I need a voice for him. Um, Featherrock. Laying on his side, slowly opens his eyes and turns to you, and uh, he kind of winces, but it, not in a pain, as more of a an annoyance kind of a wince. Like, so you're here to make fun of me too? I'm not lying. No, no, of course not, sir. Just, just tell us everything that you know. You know, we we believe you. Trust me, we we've heard and seen more things than you could ever imagine. He he looks at you suspiciously. He's obviously been uh, taken for a fool, or no one's been believing him and his stories. Um, kind of relents and says, "We were <coughs> we were attacked, and uh, I was bitten badly." And I was trampled as the other men fled. <coughs> I faded in and out of consciousness, but I swear I heard voices. I heard there was gruff voices arguing in the distance. And then something bit my ankle. 
So uh, are you saying that you, you believe that the, these walls have the ability to talk? He uh, immediately flashes his eyes over at you and they let lock on. His eyes are wide and he goes, The wolves are talking. <coughs> the wolves are talking. They, I heard them arguing whether or not they should eat me or not. And then uh, he breaks down in tears. He's in hysterics, and uh, as he has his crying begins to grow more and more, he. <coughs> And his body gives way, and he passes out. Oh, he's not he's not dead, is he? I didn't kill him. This, you know, because... I mean, you can check. I don't want that on my record. Um, <laughs> someone poke him. Someone poke him. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll get a spoon uh, or something metallic and put it underneath his nose to see if he's breathing. That's very smart. Here, you, you can get it. Oh, you already have an inspiration point. That... That was clever. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's breathing. Oh, thank God. Thank God we didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Uh, <laughs> who, who's the person actually in charge of the care of Feather Rock? Uh, that, that's uh, Father Merrickson, the uh, guy you talked to. Father Merrickson. Okay, then. Um, well, considering that he said he's usually like falls asleep you know, like, straight away or up to 18 hours, whatever, whatever. Um, could um is there any chance that he's got fractures in his body from where he was bitten but by, oh, by Mer- struggle uh, feather rock yeah yeah absolutely yeah. he's he's pretty fucked. absolutely okay okay then well in that case um i'm gonna head downstairs <laughs> seeing as feather rock is now passed out um i'm gonna head downstairs and i'm gonna reach into my bag and i'm going to give um the father um one um bundle of um Alfandus stem which um i tell him it does take him a day to prepare but obviously being like father and caring people i'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing with it anyway um so it takes one day to prepare for him um so hopefully by the time feather wakes up he can apply it it's um bound into a dressing which is applied to a fracture and will double the healing rate of that fracture uh you go give that to him now yeah i'll give that to him now and let him know he um... he, he lets loose or he a very kind smile uh, bristles across his face and a uh, smile with his eyes and uh, he places his hand on his shoulder and says, I thank you so much for your compassion, but believe me, he's getting the best treatment possible. We are fully stocked. Keep your, your med- medicinal herbs and tonics and whatever sort of stuff you have for yourself. If you're going to be taking this on, we believe you're going to need it. Feather Rock is in good hands. Perfect, perfect. That's good um, to know. Well, then I'll, I'll call up to the others, because I'm guessing... Oh, pardon me, they're still upstairs at this point. Uh, and I tell them I'm ready to go and see um, the other guy. Who was the other guy? I forgot his name. No, sorry, I'm ready to go to the, um, to the store to pick up some things and supplies to go yeah. hunt these wolves. We okay. need fire. We need fighty fire. fire. You're going to bring some hot fire? <laughs> Fight fire. I just realized I've got like plus seven to stealth and acrobatics now. I can't wait to use them. <laughs> I'm gonna do some awesome flips, dude. Do some parkour. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you get your double of proficiency bonus on a couple of your skills now. It's gross. Mm. So, yeah, um, I guess we, we go to the general store. Okay. Um, we can uh, just bypass any sort of real RP of that. Uh, what did you want? You just wanted some oil? Um, let me check how much box. I, I just want to make sure that, um, um, everyone else go first. I'm having okay. I want to ask what you have that I can use for fire, oils, uh, you know, any weaponry, lamps, uh, yeah, they'll, the lot. They'll have, a, they have a bunch of torches you can have, um, or you can buy, uh, they have a few, I don't even know what they're called canisters of lamp oil um that you can use um they have a, yeah they obviously have some tinder boxes but um okay i'll yeah, have anything t- you want to buy just you know i'll trust you make sure you take it out of your monies Ooh. okay uh i will get one tinder box and some was it oil 
Uh, I'll get two times oil. All right, let me find those prices. I forget and what they're at. The sticks. I can pick them up in the woods and put oil on them. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna wait for face to look up the prices or whatever, then I'll say what mine is afterwards. Um, Corin, is there anything that you need? Um, uh, let me look. Is that link still in the? The um. That link was with just for the herbs chance. and stuff, right? That was just for herbs, yes. Oh, crap. I lost my my link of stuff that I had. I'm trying to think if there's any... I'm trying to think if there's any herbs that have, like, a strong smell, but also, like, have, like, a... A smell to like uh, a... on five silver pieces D &D for a tinderbox. So if you want a tinderbox, tinder minus five silver pieces, and uh, an oil flask is one silver piece per flask. Okay, so one tinderbox and two times oil. That so that's be... seven silver, and if you want seven a silver. torch. Torch is one mm -hmm. copper piece. <laughs> That's stupid and cheap. No, okay. I'll get that then as well. So a torch, tinder box, so that'd be <clears throat> seven. I'll give you eight silver for your good service. There you go. Okay. They they will give you, uh, you know, six torches with that. <laughs> six Wait. torches, two oil flasks, and a tinder box. Okay. So let's take away that. Okay, right. Here's what I'm gonna do. In corn, um, this is uh, they don't have any herbs here. This is a, a general store. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a general store. Okay. Now, in the tinder box, obviously, if I want to use it, I want to use. I want to be able to use a tinder box very, very quickly. You know, I'm having to take it out of my bag and open it up and blah, 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 blah. Seems a little bit too long for what I intend to do with it. So, is there any chance that I can just buy flint? Because I'm pretty sure if I was to have my daggers drawn, I could strike the flint with my dagger enough to cause sparks, right? Uh-huh. Because that way I can keep it in my pocket um, so that it's very easily accessible and I can just reach for it. Well, that's what uh, Tinderbox has in it. It has flint, fire, steel, uh, okay, tinder. Then, well, should I? I'll take the tinder box, but I'm gonna remove the flint and put it in my pocket instead. Sure. Just to use it as an instant, instant sparky boy. Sure. Um, but I'll also take um, two uh, small tins of oil or canisters or whatever they were, and I'll take uh, five torches. Sure. Um, if you guys as open well. up the, um, actually, I don't know if you guys have access to. Do you see the items in your guys' gameplay? On the right. If not, I will have to add them. No. Okay. No. I will. I will give you them. Uh, you got two flasks, cereal, three. Um, you got a tinder box. And uh, did you get any torches? Uh, yeah, five torches. You did the same thing. Okay, torch. Man, my computer is having an issue. It's very slow today. Torch. Boom. All right. And you got hey, five of those. Thank you. And Miss Creation, I will give you the same. Oh, no, that was the weight you just changed. Oh, was that the, the numbers weight? numbers on the other side. Oh, that's side. funny. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Whatever the weight is, we'll figure it out. Okay. Torch. You, oh, you already had some torches. Oh, yeah. You had two. Well, now you have seven. Nice. And I three. And you got a tinderbox as well. You're good. Cool. You guys are all set for uh, the general store. Perfect. I'm ready to go then. Okay. Okay. Um... So what are you guys headed off to? Um, well, I guess we'll head off in the direction that the, um, that the hunter dude told us about. 
Um, like the mountaineer guy. To the west. To yeah. the west, yeah. Um. So you're just gonna you're just gonna head west into the woods. Well, didn't didn't he tell us um like a rough? He just like, said they just said the woods to the west. Oh, okay. okay. So we need to find out more before we get to that. Possibly, <laughs> <That'd be bad. laughs> unless you want to go uh, into the woods. That'd be awful. <laughs> We need to figure out what it looks like. Okay, uh, in that case, um... hmm... do we uh, okay, at this point we've left the, the, the store? Well, at least Lucia has left the the front of the the, the store. Um, mm -hmm. Do I see anyone around? Uh, anyone like in the immediate vicinity who looks to be troubled, looks to be panicked, or anything that may be related to the wolf thing? If they have any sort of information, any sort of townsfolk which seem a bit on edge. Oh, uh, most of the townsfolk uh, are on edge. Anyone with an injury. Okay. Um, no one with an injury, well, they... uh, but most of the townsfolk are on edge because uh, they can't do their normal jobs for fear of the wolves. Um, that's why a lot of people seem to be. Uh, what's the word? Where you're just you're sitting idly by, waiting for to do mm -hmm. stuff. Um, they should be at their jobs, but they can't go out in the fields because the fear of the woods. So everyone's just kind of on edge. Okay. In general. Okay, so... Okay, then, well, my first thought is if, um, Featherrock thinks that the wolves are talking, um, first just reminds me of Shia LaBeouf, um, because it was that whole situation. <laughs> So we already know that werewolves can exist here. Maybe these werewolves have some sort of arcane power. Maybe there's something helping them. Or maybe they're just evolved the to rats. the point where they can fully... Yeah, the rats as well, same problem. Maybe they've got like a sentient sort of thing going on. And because they're yeah. degrading into their more animalistic form, that's why people have started noticing them more. And they've started coming out more. And that would make sense. Five, yeah. I think yeah. I reckon, I think what what we should do is we should go and talk to the father and um I can't remember the other guy who was there, the other halfling. Um we should go and talk to them about our theory and see what they think. Okay. Uh so you yeah. go back to uh Father Merrickson and Yeah, to till, let him know wood, whatever what already... That's the one, yeah, something like that. Tillis, there you go. Tillis, that's the one. Okay. okay. Uh so you come back and <laughs> Tillis and uh Merrickson are they, their uh, emotions have kind of down, died down. Their uh, no, Tillis is not, you know, in hysterics or angry so much anymore. They're more just kind of talking, and they they obviously feel a little more relaxed that another party adventure or adventure party is coming to try to help them with a problem that they're still obviously stressed. Um, you walk up and uh, go ahead. What do you say? Okay, so I'll walk up to um, Father Erickson. Was it? Uh, Merrickson. Merrickson. Father Merrickson and uh, Tillis. And um, I'll say to them, um, uh, we, we think we have some information that, that may interest you. Um, we, we came from a town Tillis pops called... up and is like, yes, yes! Shit, please share! <laughs> um, what was the name of the town? Welton? Uh, we're in Welton, yeah. We're in Welton now. Oh, okay. Um, was it Raska? Uh, the... The town of the rats? Yeah. Uh, of course I ripped out those pages. <laughs> it started with an F, I thought. An F. Felton. Was it Felton? Oh, Am I seriously it, making the uh, same uh, fucking name? Can you imagine? It sounds... <laughs> yeah, Felton Elton. It actually yeah. does sound like it could have been it. That, it dude, is. Oh my if gosh. I'm that uncreative... Look. <laughs> hey, look, I still have the papers here. Mm. Let's see, scroll up. Oh my god, I write too much. Yep, it, was Yalish. it was Yalish. Yalish, okay. okay. I feel slightly better. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll yeah, say yeah. Some, um, we, we came from a town called Yalish, and, and as you can see, that is where um, our friend Pankog met her familiar. Uh, kind of point towards um, Kyrian. <laughs> and. Um, Say to them, we actually experienced something which sounds kind of familiar to what Featherrock experienced. Um, Featherrock spoke of the wolves talking, and everyone was calling him mad, but 
till it starts laughing. He's like, <laughs> that old mad goat wolf's talking. He goes and sits down and grabs a, his flagon of mead and starts drinking a little bit. He's just shaking his head. And Lucio's face is just dead stare. Like, serious <laughs> so, stare. So echo. No, just... Everyone. <laughs> blanking it. And says... Yeah, I think everyone's seriously staring. The last town we came from, believe it or not, had sentient rats. They were... He spits out his beard and he's like, Merrickson! We just hired these crazies! Ah. <laughs> uh. What Wait, have we can I, can How I far have we gun? fallen that we have to resort to these lunatics to deal with our problem? We should just go wipe them out. I'm telling you. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna I'm gonna reinforce my point and try to tell them I I am telling the truth. Can I roll a persuasion to see if they believe me? Sure. Okay then. So. Oh, hang on. How would I add my... Because I don't want to fuck this one up. How do I add my inspiration point to it? Because I've been holding on to this inspiration point for a while. Um, I, I do that. Uh, so essentially, oh, okay. you can roll, and if you don't like what you want, you can use your inspiration point, and I'll let you be able to re-roll oh, again. Okay. Or you can do it and right roll now. it as advantage. Or you can I'm happy awesome with roll. what I rolled. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep I would be too. Hasn't, haven't the rats been helping around the, the town? It, I mean, they have been. Wouldn't, yep. wouldn't yeah. someone have seen them? This is a different town. Remember, it's a different town. Yeah. It's not from it. Yep. Um, this is actually um, 50 miles away. Yep. This, this from is far away. Yarlis. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's what they, they do. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, so um, now um, they actually believe me. Tillis doesn't necessarily <laughs> believe me. He, he's still, like, he's shaking his head thinking people are insane. But uh, Merrickson actually, um, you have his attention in a. Uh, he just says, I would like to hear more about your story. I, I kind of, I take okay. a seat. I have them. notes. Echo and, says, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just say, um, so we, we were helping the town and we, we had to go into this, this inn and <laughs> into their cellar. And Echo here found a a doorway hidden with with magic, um, and when we when we ventured in, we we found a, a kingdom, a city of rats beneath the town, and they had a leader. Um, leader, what was his name? I did write that down. Yeah, what was his name? I don't think I wrote it down. I'm an idiot. Uh, uh, brewery, blah, blah, blah. Campion. Campion. Camp yes. It was written down. Yes. Um, his name was Campion, and he told us that every now and again was it was it towards the moon, wasn't it? Uh, towards, towards the, the moon. full moon. Full moon. Yeah. Towards a, a full moon, they would revert to an animalistic state. Or sorry, yeah, the animalistic state. They it was towards the new moon. So they oh, okay, got, they so, got yeah. more sentient as the moon got stronger. Okay then, so I'll retcon. <laughs> I'll just say, um, so as as the moon got stronger, they they became more sentient, more humanoid. Like although they retained their rat form, uh, they could speak, they could walk, they could perform any sort of task that we could. Um, with what Featherrock said about the wolves and hearing them speak, I, I do have to ask how often. Do the wolves attack? You said every three weeks, correct? No, this wouldn't that be a um, new moon? Um, he said it's happening for three months, but yeah. he said they like it's the every, big ones. It's every, every three like three days or something. It's, it's pretty days. often. Yeah. Oh, okay um, then. But he says um, he kind of <laughs> turns around and looks towards the fireplace a bit, and then uh, he turns back around. And he's like, "You're speaking of werewolves." I am. We have already encountered one. And he, he kind of thinks to himself and he says, uh, there have been several full, full moons since the attacks began, but not one person in town has shown a sign of the curse. Although, I will admit, my knowledge on the subject isn't perfect. Is there anyone in your town who specializes in beast law? Not aside from our hunters, they go out, you know, 
they're tracking they yeah. look for deer and any other fauna that they can take in and for meat and well, food for the town but as far as we know this what is we, this is not not natural what we need to figure out is are we talking about lichen fruits or werewolves per se or are we talking about like the similar river rats some wolves that were given a spell and have gained sentience because if it's the latter the these wolves can can do chores around your town and and help you just as much as your community community does they may be just as scared as you but if it's werewolves then we're gonna have to wipe them all out we might have to be prepared just in case they are werewolves but then again there's also the possibility it's like the situation with the rats. That's a thing. Yes, yeah. uh, Marison is going to say, I regret to inform you that we have no knowledge or proof either way. Why we did we not ask Feather Knight? Um... Feather Rock. That's it, Feather Rock. <laughs> Feather Rock. <laughs> I like that. Feather Rock. What he thought they were saying. <laughs> we should ask him that next time. Well, we don't know when he'll next wake up. Yep. So exactly. That's what I said next time. <laughs> wah, wah. Uh, Can I go upstairs and just poke Feather Rock? Like just try. <laughs> just 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 put my finger in the wound slightly just to shock him awake. Uh <laughs> if uh Merrickson hears about that, I would highly suggest against it. It might not end. Uh, <laughs> I'm to, I'm to get my to going. Uh, <laughs> that was gonna wake him up. Um, Smelling salt. <laughs> okay, so uh, what are you guys' plan of attack here? Okay. Um. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna take the bell out of my bag and ring it incredibly loudly to see if I can wake him up to get a, the last day of information. The, the little, I have a bell like, in my a little, a little hand a bell, little, a little ding ding ding, a little, a little, ding, ding, a little, a little bell, a little, a little dong, dong, bell. dong dong dong, my dude. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna get bell. that out. I'm gonna get that out. I'm gonna attempt it. It's all I've got. It's either that or set the poor dude on fire. What are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Get the little dog. You go thing up out. there, madly yeah, ring your yeah, bell, dude. and oh, uh, <laughs> you up there, madly ring the bell. Oh, what's what's the lady's name? Uh, ding, 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 ding. Suddenly, Leandra comes flying upstairs, slams open the doors, like, "What the hell are you doing? You're gonna wake up the rest of my customers. Get out!" Lucian's just sit there with his belt. It's like midday. Yeah, they're whatever. There's people like me still sleeping midday. Like, cut out that racket! I don't remember the voice I gave her, so. <laughs> but no, he does not wake up. He is obviously knocked the hell out. Okay, okay. Um, Can we leave him a note? Feather up? And say that. Yes. Uh, and say sure. that we would. If I leave a note saying we would like to know what he believes the rats, not the rats, the wolves are saying, um, and then uh, he can leave his note on the side. So even if he's as he's asleep when we come back, sure, you we'll can leave be a able note. to read. Yeah. You, so you tell him that you believe him. You've seen instances of something similar, and uh, you're gonna go try yeah. to figure out what's going on. Yeah, and if sure. he could help us out by writing back. Sure. At his convenience. Yeah. Sure. Yep, that's fine. So now what? Okay, then. Well, at this point, because you haven't got that much information on what's um, what's uh, going on with these wolves, and the only person who can really help us is Comatose. Um, it, did you, there was a, an inn, a tavern You're in, in the it. city, right? Oh, we're in it. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought, I thought it was a separate we're building. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, well, in that case, there's got to be a uh, like a bulletin board, a quest board mm -hmm. somewhere, right? Something else to do to pass the time until we can get more answers. Um, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and walk over to that and see what is available. That's pretty much the entire bulletin board. Is people saying wolf, wolf, the, wolf, wolf, it's, wolf. it's pretty much the wolf <laughs> problem. Uh, there's petitions on what to do about the wolves, uh, how they should do it. There's a bunch of posts saying, like, uh, from, obviously, from, like, when uh, Feather Rock was attacked, there's a post about, hey, a bunch of us hunters are getting together on this night at this day. 
we're going to go try to track down the wolves and take care of them ourselves. Uh, there's some slander about Tillis saying he's not doing his job as mayor. Um, but it's it's about the wolves. That is that is their main concern right now. They can't repair mm -hmm. any of their fences or anything because either they keep getting break down or they put themselves at risk of wolf attack. This is pretty much the only thing that these people care about right now. Okay, we need to do something about the wolves. <laughs> Okay, Even well, if it's at this point, we haven't the got any information, so... Cor Coral realizes that uh, you're obviously kind of looking for some sort of information, and he comes over and says, I know that uh, we don't have much information for you, but uh, I may be able to deduce a radius that you can check out. Uh, let, me, let me grab you a, a map. He takes out a map and, uh, in, in, in a pretty wide area, but it's better than nothing. He kind of points you okay. and is like, and this, uh, this side of west, in the, under the cover of the two hillsides over here, I believe that would be a good chance, or a good, uh, can't think of word. Starting point? Sure. Good starting yeah. point. <laughs> uh, and he kind of looks over at Pancog and says, you look familiar and versed in the woodland. Uh, uh, if you have any tracking proficiency, I believe... Uh, you may be able to find your way through. Okay. Okay. That's handy to know. In that case, I'll take the map. Um, and I'll just stow it away in my little shirt pocket. Um, um. And I'll, I'll thank... I'll thank him for the map. Thank you for all, everyone's assistance. Um, and to kind of usher towards the party, like, shall we get going now? Are you guys ready? I uh, say thank you, sir, for your help, and hop on it. Uh, Coral lets out a, a guffaw. <laughs> I'll expect a mirror on your safe return, and he kind of waves and walks out. <laughs> and I'll just, before he goes, I'll just say, and we'll expect we our expect gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys are going to head out west, then? Mm-hmm. Um, Towards the, to the general west. direction, yes. Go west. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I will I will let a uh, Pancog roll tracking, mm -hmm. um, because it's what she's proficient in, and it's in force, so she gets a bonus. Um, after after you make it to the woods, about twenty minutes of uh, scrounging around, uh, she manages to find some tracks, and uh, they're a bit scattered, but uh, she's able to find a a path through the woods that um, might be leading to something that. Uh, I don't know. It just might be leading to something. Okay, then. Well, then I'll, I'll suggest that we start following that path. Just head towards the general direction until we start seeing any sort of animal tracks, any sort of, like, you know, um, scratch marks on trees, anything that will tell us that, you know, a big wolf <laughs> is around, any, like, animal <laughs> carcasses, um, anything. Just anything like that. Okay. I, I forgot that uh, we had, haven't had any sounds or anything going on right now. So let's get some sounds. Because we need it. We need the ambiance. We do. If this thing will stink and load, I would love it. No, no. Okay, let's get some... Uh, hmm. Forest. And how about a... Sure, let's try this one. See how this sounds. Um, also, I can't open my soundboard. What is this? There it goes. Come on, YouTubes. We need the sounds. Okay, there it goes. Loading up sounds. Make sure it's not going to blow out everyone's ears. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, that one doesn't fit. Okay, um, as you guys are trekking through these woods, ooh, are you, are you okay? Holy crap! My computer is doing nothing, but it's doing everything. All right, is that loud mm. enough for you guys? Are you good? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Okay, um, you guys are trekking through some of these woods. <clears throat> and uh, 
you you end up making your way and they're uh it's very thick and clogged with undergrowth the smell of earth and moss uh fills the air uh the passage of animals is a constant rustle in the bushes uh occasionally you hear in the distance a lone wolf echo Ooh. uh it's coming from the west um crossing the woods with all its undergrowth and stuff uh takes about approximately four hours Okay. Um, okay. So it's about six by now. <laughs> okay. Um, or, sorry. Is it starting to get um, dark? Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's been about two hours. Sorry. And um, after it's about two hours of travel, um, you hear the sound of uh, snapping twigs and uh, rustling leaves. Something big is making it towards you. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, no. Um, seeing as we are in a wooded area, uh, and stuffs, um, am I able to do a acrobatics, um, with my ring of jumping to jump up into, um, the trees above to see if I can get, um, like a, a view of what's coming towards us and also so I am hidden for if it comes. <laughs> if I'm hidden. <laughs> Too bad it's not Um, uh oh. Uh oh. No! Oh, it did save it. Okay. Um. Hold on a minute. Uh, so you're walking your way through and you're gonna. You said you wanted to try to jump? Basically, I, I, I wanna, I'm gonna run up the tree, but I'm guessing that the trees are. Because you said forests, not like woods or anything like that so i'm guessing they're at least like 20 foot trees 25 yeah, foot high. trees or something so um, i'm going to use acrobatics to run up but i'm going to use my ring of jumping at about like you know 10 15 feet to like get to the top and stay up there sort of thing okay um so ring of jumping uh uses a bonus action so yes i will allow you to do that okay then uh acrobatics there it is don't flop I made, <laughs> I made it look good. I made it look good. Nice. Oh, um, it's the car all over again. <laughs> uh, right? Alright, why is Give this some flail when not doing it. working? <laughs> I can't get uh, the stuff I need. This is very weird. Why isn't my stuff working? Um, you guys see the, the, the map, right? Yes. We are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately... I don't know if we're meant to see the enemy, but we do. Oh, do you? Yeah, that's fine. You can see him. Um, but I can't add it. Um, but yeah, so there's a big thing coming rushing at you guys. And it's obviously getting there quick. Due to your quick thinking, Lucio, you do get up in a tree. Um, but, uh, that big thing is crashing through the woods. Um... There is a, what crashes out of the woods, there is a monstrous owl bear, and it sees you guys. Uh, you can tell that it's limping, it's thin, and it appears to be nursing several uh, barely healed wounds. Uh, the wounds are clotted with old black blood, uh, but it immediately attacks you guys. It's in a fury, it's in a rage. Um, it lets out a deafening hoot as it does so. And uh, roll for initiative. Um, I don't see my character on the in the woods oh, or anything. Yeah. That's what I was needing to do. I need to add you guys, but I can't add the. Put me in the tree. Put me in the tree. The creature either. <laughs> Combat initiative. Tracker, there there you is. go. Oh, my rolls today. I'm good. I'm wasting them all now, though. That's the thing. I'm wasting all of my good rolls now. I didn't start up a, a different fantasy ground, so that's being a an issue today okay so there's your i'm gonna lose you you are in a a tree if i can grab your character <laughs> tree hell yeah dude <laughs> pancog is tr obviously tracking the, the path this path obviously is not there <laughs> 
But uh, that that is the wolf path that she's tracking. Echo, I'll put you back here. And Corrin, you can be back here as well. Oh, we need to put Kyrian next to Pancog. That's good enough. I need to add... Really? There's another update? All right. Don't anyone update. Otherwise, bad things are going to happen. <laughs> Join. Start. All right. I'm trying to get the other fantasy grounds up and running. So I can actually do this without any spoilers, which I will switch here. For some reason, I had subtitles on your stream and it was not translating well. Yeah, the subtitles <laughs> don't, they don't work well at all. <laughs> no. Why can't I add this to the thing? There it goes. Okay, so uh, did you guys roll for initiative? Oh, I rolled. Shit. Um, sorry about that. Oh, you're good. Uh, I need to. I have to roll for Pancog. Initiative. There you are. Wee. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was depressing. Fuck. It always happens. Yeah. Menu. Initiative. There we go. And. 18. There we go. All right, everyone is up and good to go. Um, you guys get charged by this monstrous bear coming at you guys. And uh, Lushu, it's your turn. You are in a tree. <laughs> I am in a tree. I'm feeling good about it, my dude. Okay, then. So I'm, I'm just going to chill in this tree for now because I don't want um, the Albert to see where I am. And I'm kind of hoping for an above aerial double dagger strike sort of thing. And um, seeing as he's what, 5, 10, 15, 20, we'll say, yeah, about 22 feet away. Uh, Lucy, don't jump that far. So uh -huh. I'm going to wait up here um, and kind of just like signal to the others that, uh, you know, he's about to charge sort of thing. So Be they careful, know he's charging. Uh, well, that's all I can do. <laughs> so I'll end my turn there. I'm happy in the tree for now. I'm going to prepare. Uh, that's your turn? Okay. I'll, 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 take, I'll take out my daggers, obviously. I, I draw my daggers. Ready. Okay. Um, it is Pancog's turn. Uh, she is going to attempt to shoot at the charging owl bear. Oh, boy. All right, she's going to try to use her uh, super cool shot and attack. Why didn't that work? Drag onto your face. Is it because it's not actually there? Something is strange. Dragging it isn't working. Here, I'm going to... Delete this token, then I'm going to drag it back on, because something's weird. Bop. Come on. There it goes. Ooh. Yeah, they're supposed to be bigger. <laughs> it, was, it was tiny. Um, she's going to attack it. Bop. There it goes. Holy crap, nice hit. And then she does some damage. And then she has two attacks now. Which is pretty dope. She's gonna do it again. Boom, boom. Double arrow shots. <laughs> then he's gonna damage. That's unfortunate. <laughs> one. Oh wait, no. She rolled a one, but with her freaking sharpshooter bonus, she actually did 15 damage with rolling over a one. Oh. That's nasty. All right, That's where's horrible. where's Kyrian? All right, Kyrian is going to go. And that is a straight line. So, bop. Karen goes and is going to get its crazy cool move off. No, 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 no. Wait, is that 20 feet? Yeah, diagonal. It does a claw attack. 
and if it does it attack of this and it hits it and if it gets a claw attack it must succeed a dc 12 or be knocked prone okay let's do a strength check and it passes so it's not knock knocked prone And so it's attack claw hit. So I'll just do damage. And five damage. All right. It is Owlbear's turn. Is the other thing loaded up? Nope, it's still loading. Okay. The Owlbear is going to <coughs> get pissed and attack. Tyrion. Poor, <laughs> poor thing. All right, how does the beak and claws? Okay. Tax with its beak. Bah! Yep, that hit. Oh, Tyrion. This thing does a lot of damage. Oh, boy. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. How about. Like a lot. Ouch. It looks like a lot. Oh, Kyrian might be out. Yep, Kyrian's dying. Oh! No, the poor panther pet! Okay, so oh, Kyrian's shit. knocked out. Huh? Yep, and the uh, owl bear, since it hasn't moved, it's gonna move right towards Pancog. Blah! Angry, angry thing. And uh, that is its turn. All right, Corin, it's your turn. Um, this thing is still loading up. Um, I am going to use um. Looks like Hell <laughs> bears hurt, man. Dang. Still acquiring a file list, okay. You're trying to cast produce flame. Corn, are you muted? Oh, there you go. So you rolled an attack. Uh, yeah, you definitely hit it. Yeah. It wasn't working before, and all. It's all good. <laughs> uh, so you hit. So go ahead and uh, do the damage. <laughs> a four nice all right so you did your damage um you still yeah. have a movement if you want to move um yeah okay okay is that where you move yeah all right echo it's your turn okay um i'm going to try um, hmm. I'm tempted to try an acid splash, but that means I'd have to get closer. 
Yep. Um, and Pancock's right in the way. <laughs> yeah, you, you would yeah. you'd hit friendlies. Exactly. Um, so, Poison Stray, Blade Ward, True Strike. I'll go for the Eldritch Blast. Let's go for the good old fashioned. <laughs> uh, um, you gotta drag the attack onto his face, remember. Good thing he's large because he doesn't get any cover bonuses from mm. uh, Pancock being there. Oh, what uh, happened? Yeah, what is that? What? That's My what I just. Got... No, you That's did. You did some sort strike. of attack. You did some sort of a uh, effect. True strike. Oh, you cast a true strike on him. Yeah, but I went to the Eldridge. But is oh, it... okay. Here, Fuck I'll it. go ahead and do Eldridge for us. I'll take this off. Uh, how do I? X. Get rid of that. There you go. Okay. So yeah, drag the Eldritch Blast onto it. The uh, the attack bit. Why aren't you dragging? The hell? Let's see. Uh, it's because you are in a. You need to expand. A, there you go. So drag the uh, the attack bit now. Sorry about that. <laughs> I just realized that. Yeah. You missed. No. Okay. Um, I can still take an action, right? You can still move. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm gonna. In which case, gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 behind this bush because I have a feeling that he may come forward so I might be able to get a better <laughs> attack with the crossbow. Could be smart. Could be smart. Um, next actor, Blue Shoes, your turn. I didn't. No. The owlbear is quite... It's big, big, right? Yeah, it's large. It's bigger okay, than you guys. Then. So what, what, what I would uh, say, the chances of me being able to like jump on it with some rope to tie it up are very minimal, right? Correct. I would okay. not I would not recommend <laughs> trying to do that. Especially okay. right now when it's in a rampaging state. Mm -hmm. Well, um, right, how... Um, I don't know, so, so falling doesn't count towards movement, right? So obviously if Shit. I'm about 20 feet in the air right now, um, it's not going to count as movement of 20 feet if I jump off the tree, right? Um, no. Okay, so I, you will want to roll an athletics to... though, to see if you actually land where you want to land, and you don't, you know, trip Is that on a branch. Athletics or acrobatics? Uh, because I'm jumping, I'm yeah. jumping from the tree yeah. to him. The dex one, yeah. So acrobatics then, okay. Um, let me roll that first to make sure that works. Oh, there's your, mo there was your fucking <laughs> one. <laughs> but. You can't crit yeah, fail. Wait, wait. You can't crit wait, fail or crit on. miss. On... Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna use my inspiration to reroll if I can. Right. <laughs> I, I will say, I was say you, can't, you can't crit fail or anything with ability checks. It's just a low roll essentially. But you can, yeah, you can use your inspiration uh, yeah, if you want. I kind of, I kind of want to do that again. Yeah, I'm missing that. Just want to do that again. Which would be a one again. That'd be yep. awful. All right. Well, wait, all right. Let me remove um, that inspiration. There you go. Since he's rampaging and running through. I will say you. Uh, what, you were trying to land on top of him. I was. I was drawing my daggers. They're already mm -hmm. out. I was jumping and trying to get. Oh. Okay. Like a, a stabbing oh, sort of like you know like Prince of Persia in yeah. the the tapestry like, sort of thing. Jumping you know? and double yeah. dagger. I got you. Right. I've because got he's the currently facing Pancog. I'm above him. You know he can't really see himself. Right. He's like. Um. That was the. That's the, a, I from where you're at. That's a twenty foot jump. And you rolled a 14. I'm going to say you barely miss. And you Ooh. land. You're going to land. Uh, I'll let you place where you land. But you can land within the squares, two squares next to him. Okay, then. So I'll tell you what. I'll land here. Then. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. So even though I did that, I didn't actually attempt an attack, correct? So yeah, I can I'll, roll to I'll let you do an attack. Now? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, and so, first dagger. Nice. Big roll. That's got a hit, right? 
one d4 plus piercing five uh plus your sneak attack because there's an ally next to him how do i add that uh i think i added that to your sheet actions yeah so your sneak attack if you expand the little um magnifying glass you can just drag the damage onto him oh yeah i, I added that last week so like that. Oh, it's okay. a nice little thing there oh, for awesome. you um, and then for my offhand, it's the 1d4, but it's not plus the modifier of the plus 4 piercing, is it? Correct. Okay, then. All right. And so try to hit. Ooh. You hit. Is that a hit? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so do I just roll 1d4 <laughs> dice onto him rather than the 1d4 piercing? Because uh, that's the only option I've got is 1d4 plus 4 piercing. Oh, we, well, we can make you an offhand one. Uh, attack two, but yeah, just uh, just roll a d4 and I'll uh, add I'll, it. I'll roll this and there you go, two. Two. Um, I gotta look up your sneak attack. See if you do it with each attack. Uh, let's see. Once per turn. Okay, once per turn. Oh, but I didn't add the one d6 damage to the no, owlbear from the sneak attack. You did. I did. Yeah, so oh, okay. it shows on my screen that you added... Um, oh, perfect. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, and so um, in that case, I um, I'm gonna oh, use. Hold on. Wait, maybe you didn't. It says you tried to roll it, but it didn't do the damage. Yeah, it says the effect was added to it, but no damage was actually. Oh, you know what? I bet you. So this is what needs to. Ha what happens is before you do attack, if you get sneak attack, you roll the effect on him. And then it gives oh. you an extra d6. So roll a d6 and I'll add your damage. Okay. So Dude. four more damage. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, he's getting low, guys. All right. Um, at that point, I'm going to my turn. Actually, the owlbear, I didn't count this in, but uh, the owlbear lets out one final roar hoot and tries to swipe one last time at Pancog before <coughs> dying. Because he's already obviously gravely wounded from the his wounds, obviously, and uh, Just to to the, yeah. yeah, so he was already pretty messed up. Uh, but you guys finished the combat of a, a raging owl bear that came flying in to munch on your faces. Well, that wouldn't be good. Easy, easy. <laughs> Hoots, bloody hoots. Okay, so I end up, <laughs> I end up uh, looking at the party and I say, so, should we carry on with the wolf problem? Just well, a little grin. Yeah. Well, Pancog <laughs> runs over to Kyrian. Oh, yeah, Kyrian's gone. He's dead. Sorry, Shit. Discord dropped me. Okay. Yeah, you're just like, fuck him, let's go. <laughs> you're Oops. fine. Um, so Pancog runs right over to Kyrian and immediately... <laughs> Starts trying to, uh, you know, resuscitate him from uh, his wounds. Um, she's solely not not caring about whatever's happening right now. She's focusing on her her pet here. Uh, she's going to use a, one of her heal spells to try to uh, help in the recovery as well. But uh, Kyrian is not in a good way and is probably not going to be useful in uh, any further encounters unless a, a rest uh, occurs. Um, okay. But after about That'd 20 minutes or so, breath. Kyrian is actually starting to uh, breathe normally and uh, is obviously just extremely tuckered out and in pain. Maybe we should take a short rest. You guys want to take a rest? Yeah, we'll take a short rest. So yeah. that's four hours. Well, uh, actually, to be fair, me and wait, Echo, you're an elf as well, right? We require oh. less time to to use our meditation. Um, yeah. Half so time. we actually, for a short rest, we get the bonus of a of a long rest, right? Right, but you guys haven't yeah, you haven't yeah. used any daily or spells or anything, so you're not really going to get any super super effect. Well, uh, fair enough. Yeah. Um. So you guys are going to take a short rest? Yeah, just to help carry. Rest, short. Okay, delete. All bear is dead. Um, yeah, okay, so Kyrian <clears throat> is going to heal up, so 
it's it was about four out or four p.m. Uh, when you found the actually it was about five p.m. because you were talking with uh, the town's folks. So five p.m. when you encountered the owl bear. Four hours go by. It's about nine p.m. now. So it's getting dark. Okay then. Um... I'm guessing, obviously, we didn't really move much. Um, I'm guessing the owlbear carcass is still there. Can I inspect mm -hmm. the owlbear carcass to see if I can tell if it, um, well, what caused the wounds? To see if they are, like, wolf <laughs> marks, like claw marks, puncture wounds, that sort of thing? Sure. Roll a, uh, yeah. roll a nature check. Okay. Um, oh, I'm not very proficient in it, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> also, we gotta, we gotta change it. Uh, you roll all right. Um... The wounds are n numerous it's enough. Yeah. Well, the wounds are numerous enough that you're able to tell that they're caused by uh, sharp jaws. Um, they were. Um, yeah, that that's what you can gather. Um, I'll let Pancog roll as well. Um, because she's gonna be angry, and uh, she's gonna want to know what the heck happened. Uh. Skills, there it is. I said uh, nature, right? Oh, is anyone proficient yeah. in medicine? Maybe they could perform a medicine check on the wounds to see if there's any sign well, of infection, which could have caused like rabies or anything like that, which could have caused the owlbear to get even madder. Pancog rolled one things. point higher than you. <laughs> I've got animal handling and I've got medicine plus two. Uh, medicine I've would be used if you're trying to heal six. it. Um, yeah. Or find out if the wounds were infected. Animal handling is if you're trying to, like, calm down an animal or ride one. I think it's the infected thing, so you might want to roll a medicine just to see if, just to see if it's anything, infected. if it's just... Yeah. Yeah, just to see. Yeah. Okay. So, like, let me Holy roll it. Holy crap! Dang, okay. Yay! Corin, oh Corin comes in. in. <laughs> uh, I think both of you yeah. would have been good. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to open... My computer is having problems, my friends. Um, let's see. Uh, Corin, you you roll perfectly fine. Um, you inspecting the wounds. Um, they're not infected. You know that they're very new. They're they're very recent. Um, let's see. Pancog notices that. Um, hold on a minute. Uh, Pancog notices that they were indeed caused by wolves, and uh, they do appear to be a couple weeks old. Or sorry. Um, Many of them seem to be a couple weeks old. Um, and the interesting, there seem to be some scorch marks on the creature's fur. Um, the rest of you guys inspecting the owl bear, uh, you do know, or not inspecting, but uh, the majority of you that just rolled, I'll just give it to you. Um, you know it's rare for uh, wolves to challenge an owl bear. Um, especially. Uh, you know, it was even equally rare that you got attacked by an owlbear during the day, since they're nocturnal. Okay. But considering there's, like, packs of wolves, I don't think it would be a long shot to assume that a pack of wolves would happily take one down, just for food's sake. Uh, um, wolves will not attack well, owlbears, because they're big and scary, and some of them are magical, and they can wipe out wolf packs, no problem. But from what we know, these aren't normal wolves. We're told they can speak. We're told they've got a little bit of sentience behind them. So, and if they were discussing um, killing a human and there was only one or two of them, if there was more than that, I don't see why they wouldn't be communicating to maybe take down something bigger. Maybe they saw it as a challenge to be like, if we can take this down, we can take over the town, blah, blah. I don't know. Like, I'm just spitballing at this point. <laughs> Maybe they're so desperate or ravenous uh, that they're attacking anything. They might have uh, some form of infection like rabies, etc., where they go on to attack humans and animals in a ferocious way. Or they could be desperate for food for some unknown reason. What about the scorch got... marks, though? Like, um, mm. yeah. Wolf? Flaming wolf. They use fire. <laughs> I mean, no. And especially werewolves, I mean. Well, that's where I think the arcane thing's coming into it. Yeah. But, like... 
Well, if it, if it was werewolves and they were semi-sentient, uh, something along the lines of maybe they were in a cave and they lit it with fire, like torches, because humanoid, more humanoid at this point. Uh, and yeah. maybe the owl bear wandered in, um, just being a normal owl bear. And as they were escaping, you know, maybe they had some torches. Maybe he brushed up against some of the torches. I mean, are the scorch marks on the legs? Are they on the arms, the chest, the head? They're all over the place. Like, all over the place. Okay. So it looks like it, it's either attacked a human before and a human has tried to shoo it away with fire or something else has. That's what I was thinking. It's, it's attacked it's, it's someone. Fresh, it's fresh scorch marks. Women, as well. yeah, I reckon They're about the same age attacked. as the, okay. the wounds. Yeah. Okay. I reckon they might be from uh, an attack that it tried on someone else. Well, first thing I want to do is I'm going to take out my dagger and I'm going to take a chunk of meat from the, um, the owl bear, Not to eat, but to use as bait for the wolves later on because I have some bear traps which I've been itching to use. Um, and considering it's, it's like 9 o'clock now, how long does it take to set up? You bear said traps? it was... Yeah, yeah like it's, 20 it's minutes. Like, it's like say? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Um, well, I, I would suggest... Uh, well, first is first. Do I, does anyone notice anything around us? Do we see any wolf tracks? Any sort of... Like, after fighting the owlbear, that is. Uh, and I'm going to use my, my elf eyes to be able to... Like, dark vision. To be able to yeah, see a little bit better, vision. considering it's getting a bit darker now. Um, is there it? anything around that will show us m more of a general direction? I'm using the map. Well. Shall I, shall I roll perception for that? Because I got plus five. Well, what are you searching? Or would that be nature? Look, um, look, if there's any sort of tracks or anything uh, from wolves, which will lead oh, us on a little path. Yeah, uh, Pancog's been tracking them this whole time. <clears throat> okay, so do we roughly know where they are now? Can we safely say if we go that way? Y yeah, you, you know, you know to follow. You have a path to follow, but you don't know how far away okay, it is then. or anything like that. Okay, then. Well, I suggest we just follow that um, and just keep heading until the tracks either end or we get ambushed. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're just going to keep following the uh, tracks that Pancog is following? Yes. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to have a bear trap in one hand and a hunk of owl in the other. <laughs> just I'm going to... You're just just carrying it? it? Yeah, I'm yeah, just carrying it. You know, just, just getting ready, you know. Okay. I'm going to get my uh, a torch just, out just, ready. Just, just some player knowledge. Uh, you would not be able to set up a bear trap during a combat if it were to ensue. Because 10 okay, minutes... Okay, then. I'll, I'll, like, I won't put so, that now, then. Yeah. So, for, for context, one round of combat is six seconds. In D&D. &D. <sighs> okay. Or 10 seconds, something like that. So, 10 rounds is an eternity in combat. Oh, good. <laughs> So j just heads up. So if you if you want to set up a trap or something, you can. I'll let you do that now, but you would not be able to do it in a combat. It takes too long. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead then. Um, I guess obviously the, the trap is currently closed, but you can still put something on the like the pressure plate. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the owl meat onto it and okay. secure it with some, some of the rope that I have, the, the twine, mm -hmm. and put it back in my inventory so it's ready to just put down and lock into place it's sure. so then i can scurry away again <laughs> into the shadows okay. so that's what i'll do and i'll keep uh, we'll keep trucking i guess okay um you guys uh continue traveling for excuse me uh about two more hours um and you come across uh a den on the western edge of the woods uh, okay. from the tree line uh it's possible to see you see a cave um, entrance roughly about 10 feet wide, uh, 10 feet tall at its highest point. Uh, it's set low in a, it's set into a low cliff of, uh, gray stone. There's a, there's also a thin plume of smoke appears to be coming from a point on the hill above the cliff, uh, maybe 30 feet back from the cave entrance. Um, you will notice the milling around the area are six wolves. Uh, some are sat around the fire. Uh, some are seemingly working on improving uh, a fence that's nearby. Uh, some are process of Are they tearing... on all fours, or are they on humanoid back legs, sort of? They're on, they're on all fours. All fours, okay. Uh, some are seemingly working on a... Or, sorry, are in the process of tearing a sheep carcass apart. Um, 
Many of the wolves seem to be wearing strips of brightly colored cloth or uh, other decorations tied around their limbs or their necks. Do um, we recognize any of the clothing? Uh, you recognize that it's it's common clothing and stuff. It looks like um, you can recognize some that look like uh, it, it's just commoner clothing. You don't know exactly okay. where it's from, but you've seen it all over the place. Um, hmm. The scene is actually like remarkably thing, yeah. peaceful and organized for a wolf den. Okay. Um, so... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, set up the trap just outside of the den. Outside. Um, they're outside. No, they're outside. I'll yeah, you said they were there's like, inside like, of the fire. They're like 30 feet okay. out from the entrance, some of them. Setting up wire, okay. uh, fences and stuff. Um... Um, Lushu go all stealthy and try to get a bit closer to see uh, if he can hear them talking. Because if he can hear them talking, he knows a hundred. Even if it's about anything, he then knows that Feather Rock was telling the truth and, uh, you know, knows he's not mad. I can go from there. You're gonna. They're building a fence. You're gonna try to sneak up? I'm gonna try and sneak up. Okay. Um,. Let's see. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a stealth check. And go stealthy. I will as well. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a bad time. Such a good time. time. Yeah. Stealth so, twenty-three. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you 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 make it. Ooh. Um, they, they rolled. Yeah, you gotta be worried, man. They rolled. They rolled a nineteen. I shouldn't tell you that, but that was scary. Um, ooh, yeah. Um, okay, oh shit. They have advantage, which wouldn't matter. They oh, they rolled a twenty. It still oh, no. it, it ties with you. I'll say you. They tied. They tied. So I will say you pass it. Oh, the hell? Um, but um, yeah. So <laughs> I'll say you pass it. But one of them thinks that they caught a whiff of something. But uh, they didn't. Uh, they the didn't do anything in my about trap. it. <laughs> yeah, they they caught a whiff of something um, that seems odd, but they're preoccupied, you know, fixing a fence. Uh, but they're a little, a little uh, more agitated on the uh, edge, so you might want to be careful. Okay. okay. Well, um, yeah. Do I hear them speaking at all? And not like grunting, not growls. I mean, like coherent words. Nah. No. Yeah. Okay. We'll say you're next to the one that's uh, building a fence. Uh, since it's okay. it's more on the furthest outskirts of the perimeter of the uh, the cave entrance. The other ones that are by our campfire are closer to the cave entrance, and the one that's eating uh, some sheep is you know just eating sheep by the cave entrance. Okay. okay. What is the what are they making a the fence out of? What material? It's wood. I was wondering if I could try a different approach. Um, collect some wood and say hi. I saw you. I saw you building a fence. You need some help. <laughs> and try, try the friendly approach because they may be sentient. You want to? You really want to try that? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go outside the box. Okay. Uh. Okay. Hold on. Can I we get a rip echo in that loop? <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't know. So no, either get a fence uh, for a human uh, or a fence and a human. Uh, you know, I'm invested now. <laughs> okay. I this need is probably to... one of the stupidest decisions I've done, but screw it, I'm going for it. It popped in my head and I'm going for it. I'm trying to find where <clears throat> this is at because I always forget what I called it. Okay. Found it. Okay. Um. Uh oh. No, it didn't save it. I've frozen for some reason. Uh, that, that's because my secondary account is joining in. Ah, I see. Oh, uh, crap. You got worried then. Did let's, you want to uh, take your five-minute break now? So we yeah, can let's go ahead and take yeah, a five-minute, because it looks like my stuff didn't yeah. save, so... 
Uh, you guys take a break, go pee, do whatever you need to do, and we'll be back shortly. Oh, fuck you, Foxy. Why am I doing that? I have 8% power. I'm panicking. <laughs> fuck. Holy fucking shit! Did you see Far Freddy? Fuck! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna cry! I'm shaking. Look at my hands! your daddy i love you oh my god oh guys uh someone please mark that or clip that because what the fuck is that i can't eat it uh clip that or mark it or something because freddy was right the fuck there and he didn't get me oh i think that was pure luck oh But I can't, I can't. Oh, yeah, you don't have an army. Yeah, dude, you just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, wa I watch you walk in and immediately shows up on my screen. Delmeric was slain by Dario. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, man. It's like, bam, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, I need to go in. Oh, I can't go in first. Well, this is fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right, so you need to stand by the portal. I'm gonna go in, and then I'm gonna make a brand. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I said you need to stand by the portal, and then I'll go in and I'll create a brand new one, and then you need to come in when I'm kiting and make one, and then I'll get out. Make sure you have a town portal, by the way. Uh, I don't know what I have. I got one left. <laughs> All right. One left and no monies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you stole all mine because my pile's not on the ground. All right, you ready? you ready? Don't go in. All right, here I go. Come in. Run. Nope. Yo, 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 yo. Nope. He went straight for your ass. Oh, I'm dead. Nope. Nope. I'm running. <laughs> oh I shit. Couldn't hit, I couldn't hit the portal. <laughs> he was in the way. This sucks so much ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. And the worst part is, if we do this, we're gonna have to. We have to go to the sewers and get you an army to distract him long enough so you can get your stupid body, so we can level you up. <laughs> um. Available in this fight. Things in a while. Whoa. Ew. Kill the imposters. Burn their bodies when you're done. That guy that she just shot with the uh Ah The guy that sounded like his face was in his mask, he sounded like the Fisher thing from Soul Eater, bro. Boing, 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 boing. Wrong button. Woo, birds. <laughs> that guy just jumped off the edge. And then I killed that guy by... Just... Hip shots. Oh. The fire guy show up? Bro. I'm out of... Boom, boom. There's some more. Whoa, explosion! Boom. Oh god. You get priority, bro. Bro. Oh, he beat me down. Oh, that took my money. What? Oh. Whoa! 
Whoa, bro! You can't do that. That's cheating. Blam! Much obliged. Oh god, that is not a good sound. No, thank you! No, thank you! Oh, he doesn't like birds. That's cool. You don't like birds! I saw blue and I thought it was salt. I'm stuck! No shooting! Serpentine! Serpentine didn't jump! Woo! Woo! Ooh, a box. I am sorry, that's your box! Holy crap, this scared the shit out of me! Time out! Woo! Blam! I got him! Oh, he punched me in the face. Woo! Bam! Boom! You don't like being punched in the chest, huh? Yeah, that's right. Run away. Be scared. Oh! Yeah, sit down. Oh, God, he's gonna explode! Okay, we're good. We're good. No worries. That was hard. Or, that, that was easy. Not a worry at all. Oh, no! What did I pick up? I wasn't paying attention. Give me those. Thank you. Eat birds. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, that was easy. That was easy, guys. That was that was all pure just for entertainment, right? Right? We we can do that. What did I pick up? I don't even know what I picked up for gear. Can anyone tell me what I picked up for gear? You get 140 meat squares? Nice. Stop running. Are you serious? That guy was on my booty. <laughs> you guys like that? Get unmuted. There it goes. Okay. Are we all back? Are you guys back? We're back. <laughs> all right. Switch here. Okay, let's. I'm gonna turn on back the ambiance because we need them. They sit in the mood. Um, uh, so... Kyrian is still passed out, by the way. I don't know if that's on purpose. Uh, no. Oh, she is. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. Um, let's see. Oh, I can't do it <laughs> on this mode. I need to be in the DM mode. Kyrian, your effect. <laughs> Needs to go away. I don't know why that thing is there, but it's obnoxious. Okay, uh, Kyrian is fine uh, because you guys took a rest, which is good. Um, so, you guys, there's a map now <laughs> that you guys can see um, where all the wolves are placed. Uh, the ones on the, the outskirts are obviously setting up a fence line and stuff. Lushu is kind of just spying on them, watching them. And then Echo... Decides that she wants to go introduce herself. Uh, so you're going to walk forward and shout at them, or what are you going to do? Push the talk. Uh, have you unmuted the mic? Have you clicked the button on the actual microphone itself, not Discord? <laughs> you haven't done it yet. Do you want to click the button on the microphone? This one. Yes. There it goes. There you, you go. Now. You're good now. <laughs> that damn sticky Yeti button. <laughs> <laughs> Get you every time. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a bunch of sticks under my arm. And uh, I'm going to say, 
Uh, excuse me, mate. Do you need some help? I was building a fence and I've got some spares. Don't mind me. I was just passing by. Hold on. Okay, so you're, if you look at your character, you're down there still. Uh, you want to walk forward, obviously, to get their attention. Yeah, um, so um, as you... Uh-oh. Do I have my stuff up properly? How um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. I'm not seeing you move. Are you guys seeing? Or are you just counting? I'm not seeing her move. I moved. Mm, don't see it. I'm are, you on the, now. are you on the other map? I'm on the map of the Wolfies. Okay. Also, the effects aren't coming. What the heck is going on? Something's weird here. Yeah, and just up above that cliff bridge, but on yeah. Did I get disconnected? Uh, is because the map with the forest right, or is it just? It's called a forest glade, oh, and there's wolves that. on it. Stop. Yeah, that's the one I'm on. Forest pond. No, not forest pond. Forest glade. Forest glade. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't see you have moved at all. That's weird, because I can like, snip it and I've moved. Um, what if I move back and move again? Here, I'm going <laughs> to... I'll remove you from... Uh, Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay. So I re-added you. Hold on. Now, can you guys see me move? No. No. Nope. I'm moving. No. Oh. No. What the heck? Did we Was get... there an update that push. we all have to do? Did we get disconnected? More than likely. Uh, should we disconnect Hold and on. reconnect? Can you see me guys move you guys? No. Nope. No. I, same thing. I'm looking over at my other fantasy grounds. Okay, we might have to restart. That's fun. Okay. All right. That's very strange. All right. Restart. Reloading. Oh, Siri, we'll have I to talk sometime. Because uh, you said uh, I should make a guest appearance in your campaign at some point. We'll have, oh, hell yeah, dude. We'll have to talk about that. That sounds fun. That'd be awesome. That would be fun. Uh, what level are your characters? Three? Two, aren't they? Level two, yes, they were meant to level up, but like I said, it took them three hours to get past one line that I had written. Because yes. I, did, I didn't want to railroad them. Oh, the I didn't want to railroad them, but. The life of a DM. <laughs> the life of DM. <laughs> I was talking. I had to write anything new for the last three weeks because yep. I just haven't reached near uh, the end yeah. of it yet. I was talking to uh, Tycho oh. before stream because uh, uh, he's DM'd before. And. Uh, and he just brought up, he's like, yeah, man. Because one person's like, because I was worried because I woke up late. He's like, well, do you have anything you have you planned ahead? I'm like, well, you can't plan much ahead as a DM because your characters can go off the rails and do something yep. weird. And Dorian brought up, he, start, he started laughing and was like, yeah, I wrote no. this whole big thing that was supposed to cover like four sessions or something, but my players got hung up on this stinking statue. And they wanted to investigate the cult around the statue. And then they're like, so I had to come up with like three sessions worth of bullshit mm -hmm. in like off my, the seat of my pants. No idea what's going on because they were interested in the statue. It's like, yeah, all the planning in the world as a DM, your care, your players will do something you couldn't possibly think of. Yep. Like spend three hours trying to figure out how to get into a locked door. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, go and fight the yep. bandits, please. Yep. At some <laughs> point, go and fight the bandits. I did. I did read a th or saw a video or something about uh, keeping the game moving like that as a DM, and uh, they did. One person mentioned a good point that I should implement is uh, at some point as a DM, you can be like, literally, it's just a statue. It's like 
there's nothing important here if you want something important we can come about it in a later session but as of right now it's not important let's get out of this room <laughs> you know you see, that was the worst thing for me that box was kind of important but for like you know way ahead that's <laughs> they were awesome. just focusing on all of it right now <laughs> that's the like... time when you should when you should spawn more monsters to, to get but i couldn't out. do that because it was it, it was in the bottom of the, the inn the tavern the safe place that's <laughs> awesome <laughs> I oh just kept God. telling them, I was like, this person says you should probably go and talk to the hunters to get information about the bandits. We're not going to do that. 20 minutes later, the bartender says, maybe you should go and talk to the hunters to get some info about the bandits. Nope, there's a key there. I want to see what that does. Finds absolutely no use for it, but we're going to keep it anyway and keep looking. Yep. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. It was put in the game. I, mean, I thought it was put there for a reason. I'm following all the things. That, that's the rough part about D being a DM is a lot of times you're just like, oh, I just explaining some stuff oh then the player's like oh the dm put it there for a reason it's like shit mm. i didn't really it was there for I scenery was, i was just explaining <laughs> i was trying to plot a vision in your head yeah Move right on. i was building you a world and now i'm getting punished <laughs> it's good though it's good though because you know the players yeah. are like you know taking an interest yeah so. exactly it's they're obviously interested in the world at some level so hooray all right my character's in. It looks like you're all in now. We're all in. Yep. Rock on. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Let me get the... Oh, I got to Start the recording. Let's get the map up and running. And hopefully, people can move their characters and stuff again. And hopefully, Echo doesn't make the bad choice just being munched by wolves. <laughs> trying to walk I'm running with it. No. <laughs> You're literally providing them with the firewood it would take to cook you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hi guys, meals on wheels. <laughs> meals on wheels. If that's wheels, what it yeah. takes to get close to them, yeah, you know what? I could make it my last words. Why are you here? Don't kill me. <laughs> you know? So many ways to get out of the situation. Okay. Any any last requests? Yeah, don't kill me. There All we right. go. We are back. Um, go ahead and uh, yeah. see if you can move your character. Uh, the map hasn't showed up yet, so let's just No, you'll have to load it. it up yourself. Yeah, uh, so on the right hand uh, side, go to image and map, and then the drop down, uncategorized, then pick forest glade. Double click mm -hmm. that and you should... Oh, hang on, basically, can you see me move? Yes. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, there we go, perfect. So somehow okay, good, a disconnect good. happened between the servers, so... Okay. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Hey, okay, there we are. I can see you moving. Hey. Awesome. Okay, so, right, um, are we in... In an action right now, or nope. am I free to walk? Yeah, you you can walk. Okay. So, uh, okay. so uh, as you uh, get, uh, hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. As you get to there, that that part here, I'll move you where you're at. When you get, oh, I can't move you in this account. When you get here, mm -hmm. you notice yeah. there we go. that there are trip wires Ooh. around the encampment. Oh, okay. Um. Let me think. <clears throat> How high are these trip wires? Um, the, they're just meant for people to trip on them. So. Okay, I'm gonna step over the trip wires. I'm going for it. I I I have this plan in mind. All right, you I will you will roll an athletics check to avoid all the trip okay. wires that you see. Dun, 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 dun. I have no proficiency on this. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh. you set shit. one off. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. <laughs> okay. Um, so you obviously set one off, and um, as you step on a tripwire, um, some bone noisemakers in the distance go off. Um, and obviously alerts all the, the wolves that are of, in the immediate surrounding area. Okay, as that happens, I'm going to take out my, my ball bearings from my bag and quickly throw one towards... I'm going to move my character to it so you know where I'm throwing it. Um, I'm throwing it at this rock to what try and make it a bit of noise. One yeah. of my ball bearings in my okay. pocket. Because um, I'm still stealth, like, you know, here at the moment. So because the noise just happened... Oh, that's, that's the map, not me. The noise happened around here and gets in, like, here and here at the bone things i'm gonna throw a ball bearing over here just to see if i can distract them from the like yeah the bony noise do a, any more trip do with athletics check me athletics yeah to see if you can throw it and hit where you're trying to hit 
in response. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay. Yeah, you throw it and you, you don't quite hit what you were trying to hit. Oh. It kind of just lands in the the grass nearby. Oh, but since great. the since oh, the uh, bone damn. makers went off uh, in a in a guttural sound, you hear hunters. Oh yo! I, I, okay, I call out and say, "I'm not a hunter. I come in peace. I, I'm just a." A lonely forest ranger. Um, I saw you building, and I have wood. Um, just wondered if you wanted it. It's mine. It's spare. <laughs> and then I'll leave you be. Honest. The uh, they with <laughs> they are obviously not going to positively respond to that because you are sneaking up. You set off an alert, a trap, and one of the wolves around the area just screamed, "Hunters!" <clears throat> So everyone is immediately on alert, and uh, they are obviously coming to uh, an attack. So everyone roll for initiative. That went well. Right, okay. Yeah, uh, that went well. <laughs> initiative. So. Roll NPC. Oh, God. Again? I'm not having some good throws. I'm having terrible throws. Oh, I need to roll for Pancog. I was wondering why she was last. Init. Where is it? There it is. No, that's int. There it is. Initiative. 11. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um... Lucio goes first. Okay, then. So, upon hearing all of this, um, I, I'm guessing that this wolf hit wolf three can't see me because I'm like behind the tree at the moment. So uh, I'm gonna make my actually, way. Actually, it gets to roll up or it gets to see if its perception sees you. Okay, so because I want to try and get a sneak attack by going around this way, like in the trees, uh, try to get a bonus of a sneak attack on him. But yeah, see if he can. Yep. See me, I guess. Let's roll perception. Uh, he is not aware of you. He sees uh, Echo, though. Perfect. That's probably why. See, he's I'm my way around here, all sneaky, beaky like. And so, <clears throat> first, I add the sneak attack, right? Uh, yeah. Click. Uh, so activated. I put it on him. Yep. Like that. That's mm -hmm. it. And then. See if I hit. Uh, you hit. Okay, 1d4. Whoa, whoa. What's going on? What? Oh. Uh, you caused system shock. That's why. Is so, that good? Uh, you did... <laughs> you did 8 damage. Okay, that's why. That's wolf 3. Just want to make sure that. And then did the plus the, the D six count or not? Oh uh, yeah, I saw it. It came through. Okay, and then for the second dagger, I'll just do a D four. That's got to hit. Uh, yep. Okay, and the normal D four without anything, two damage. Got it. All right. Well, now that wolf is aware um, of you and all the other wolves yeah. around. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> it's just all above me. Yep. Um, All right, I'll hit my turn. Wolf 2. Uh, what is their speed? 40 feet. Okay, so I've 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. All right. Actually, he can use full speed, but he won't be able to get an attack. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to roll advantage if that guy saw you. Oh, well. Okay, and then on our 10, 20, 30. There we go. Okay. Now you got two wolves by you. He can't do anything because he sprinted. Uh, wolf 5 is going to 5, 10, 15, 20. That's number 6. Yep. <laughs> 
There he goes, five. All right, he's going to walk around the fire. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Uh, he's going to get an attack, and he gets a bonus. He gets advantage on attack rolls because he has ally nearby. And he definitely hits you. And he hits you for seven damage. Ooh. Remember, you have that ability. You can use your reaction to have it. Um, I will do that, yes. I'll use my... Um, Uncanny what do you call dodge. It? Uncanny dodge, that's it. Okay, um, and that... So that uses your reaction. It doesn't have a cooldown. It's not like once a rest or anything. So you can use that every turn as long as you have a reaction. That's okay. it. Yeah, it's So yeah, it's I'll, gross. I'll do that then. So that's what, three or four damage. Uh, so you take four. Four, okay. Instead of seven. Um, so he did that. You need to roll a strength save. Actually, can I just do this? Oh, dude, I made you roll it. That's awesome. So, like, I can draw, well, I can roll... Thanks for that, because you failed me. <laughs> oh, um, no, essentially, it's at, because their attack goes off, it makes you do a strength save. I drag it onto the person that needs to make the save, and it tells me what their effect is anyway. Um, okay. But, so you are knocked prone. Can I do... Great. Can I just drag that? I can. Oh, okay, we're figuring out the system. Um, and then it is... Echo's turn. Okay. Help um, me. <laughs> uh, that's the plan. Okay, let's see. Uh, make sure you're counting your movement. 20. 25. Okay, I'm going to try. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, God. See, I would do the acid splash for free because the wolf's kind of, kind of shield Luxu to a point, but I'm not sure how well that would go down. Yeah, the um, acid spray hits everyone in that little area. Okay. So, in which case, I'm just gonna have to go for the Eldritch Blast again. God damn. Alright, I'll go for this one here. Holy crap, you're just getting unfortunate rolls. <sighs> yeah, you miss. God damn. Uh, Wolf One's turn. Alright, definitely gonna. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh man. Oh great! Would you Blue look shoe. at this? Yeah, this is, this is uh, this is gonna be rough. Uh, attack. Uh, he gets advantage. Oops. Oh crit! That's gonna hurt. And you're Why already. Why did you have to talk to the fucking wolves? <laughs> Why uh, did you try to be friendly? All right, you wolves? just took nine damage. Uh, you can't use your thing because you're fluffy. prone. Ouch. No, no. Um, that's the wolf. You are already prone, so he doesn't get his ability. Uh, it's Pancog's turn. Pancog. Uh, how far is that spell? Let me open Pancog. Uh, Pancog. Let's see. Pancog has an ability. What's the range? You have to touch to cure wounds. Um, okay, the range of that is 90 feet. How far is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, that's within range. Okay, Pancog is going to Hunter's Mark this guy to an attempt to protect you or take one out. And then is going to attack. Oh wait, you hit 
number three, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she's gonna hit the one behind you instead. Actions. There we go. There we go. Uh, she's gonna have disadvantage because she's shooting through. <gasps> Wait, I think she has the ability that she doesn't get. Was it a sharpshooter thing? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because of a sharp, yeah, because of a sharpshooter, she yep. she doesn't. That's but yeah, yeah. Oh, lucky. Beautiful. Right? Because right. no my luck, she would have killed me. Uh, okay. <laughs> she takes an arrow straight to the Attack. back of the head. And she rolled a two, so she misses her first attack. She's going to roll again. And she rolls a six and misses. That's unfortunate. Oh, you guys are getting ruined by cast. Um, Kyrian is going to... How fast is Kyrian? 40 feet. Or 50. Holy crap. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45. That's fine. And Kyrian is going to claw attack this bad boy and hits it holy crap and so needs to make a strength save and it fa or fails so that wolf is prone but they're probably going to kill it so let me make sure can make a bonus act and we make a bite attack that's dope so it gets a free bite attack and hits for blah okay so that wolf is dying and okay now it is corn's turn <laughs> Um, am I near any of the wolves? I don't think so. No. No. Um. Um. Can I reach them? Probably not. With a uh, like a melee attack? No. Hmm. Let's see if I have a ranged attack. So you've moved okay. you've moved twenty five feet. Right there. So you still have two okay. squares you can move if you want. Two squares. Yep. Mm. If you use your arrow keys, it'll move you a full square. There you go. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm gonna see if I have a ranged attack. Yeah, you have quite a few. Are you sure I do? <laughs> Lucio's hurting pretty bad, just saying. That's what I was gonna ask if anyone if anyone's like need, needs healing. Yes, Lucio definitely needs Lucio. healing. <laughs> He's about I need, healing. I, need healing. Yeah, I need healing. He's about half life right now. Um, I can use healing word. Um, yeah, I think I think I actually have it written down. Yeah, it's sixty. Sixty feet. feet? Yep. Mhm. Mm um, you can cast that at a higher level, too, to heal more if you want. Uh, yeah. I'll probably do that. Um, so for each level above level 1, you get an additional 1d4 healing. So, uh, which level do you want to heal at? <clears throat> it's originally... It's 1d4 plus your spell casting. And then for every level you add, you add another d4. Mm, probably 
Uh, level three, I guess. <clears throat> you want to use a level three slot? I'll probably use a level two. Okay. But yeah. Why is your healing word not expanding properly? Hold on a minute. Something is goofy with uh, your healing word. <clears throat> Spells. I think I removed it. I don't know. Uh, I just removed it because it wasn't working right. All right. There it goes. Now it's working. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so you are used a second level heal slot, right? So, you yeah. roll four plus your wisdom modifier. So, you heal ten plus another d4. So, we'll go ahead and roll that. You ro heal him for eleven, uh. which is great because now he's only taken two damage. You just got your oh, ass yeah. saved, my dude. Holy crap. Uh, Beautiful. nice heal. Beautiful. Yeah, Thank great you, <laughs> 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 uh, Okay, next is uh, Wolf 3, which is dead. Uh, wolf 6 is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's going to attack Echo. And misses. I did this to myself. I did oh. this to myself. Uh, Wolf 4 <laughs> is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep. That sucks. <coughs> All the healing you just took. And a crit. Dude, advantage is oh, broken. No. Mm. And you just, oh all that healing that God. she just did just got negated. 11 points of damage. damage. Yep. That's him. Lucy takes out a dagger and just starts to commit to <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. Round two. Uh, let's see. Fight. Round two, you hear coming from the, or from the cave. You see two very large wolves emerge from the cave. Where's the other one? Oh, dang. That's a giant wolf. Yeah. That's you a big boy. You got two oh. very large wolves that come from the cave. Um, one of them uh, starts shouting. Uh, I gotta remember the order. Okay. Uh, one of them says, uh, here you go. Kill the hunters! And the other one, it's like, um... Protect the pack! Do not let them harm the pups! And, uh, since they emerge, it is now round two. Uh, Lucius, turn. Okay, then. So you need to stand up. Uh, well, I'll stand up. Um, and so that uses your movement, obviously, but okay, so probably can't, I can't move, move out of there. now, but I can still do things, right? Yes. Uh, let okay, me then. clear the prone from you. In that case, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is... Let me know if I can do this. I'm thinking really outside the box here, my dude. Mm -hmm. But um, I want to um, take my lantern. Um, bear in mind, I don't know if I mentioned. Uh, you can you can say it doesn't count if mm -hmm. you want to. But I've always imagined like a lantern being attached to a backpack, not inside it. Mm -hmm. That's just me, so I don't know if I have to reach into the backpack, but for me, it's on the side of it. Yeah, Please it would be, on, it'd be hanging on your okay. outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to smash it at the floor in front of uh, Wolf 5. So it's like, you know, Wolf 2, 5, and 4 okay. are kind of like in the peripheral of it. And I'm going to take the flint out of my pocket that I had ready, forward thinking, and I'm going to spark the oil to kind of put a bit of flame in front of me to see if I can push the wolves 
back like five or ten feet just to get some breathing room and I'm not as uh, in danger, shall we say. Is that okay. possible? Uh, let's see. Am I allowed? So that, that's like an improvised weapon. Uh, how are we gonna? How would you play that? Let's see. So, your lantern, you're gonna have to hope that it smashes when you throw it on the ground, right? Mm hmm. And spills out the oil. Here. Uh, so, I. You might. Let's see. Let's see if we can think this out. You would have to roll a strength check to see if you throw it hard enough to smash on the ground. And then use your action to try to light the flint. That's what you're trying to do? Yep. Sure, roll a strike. Oh, yeah. Strike, strike, flint. Okay, let's go. Sure. Oh! Yeah, okay. we'll say okay. it smashes on the ground. Smashy. We'll say you use your action to light it, and the wolf... Is that wolf five? Uh, I kind of smashed it to the point where it would like create a bit of a... A border across here and um, not damage the wolves but kind of scare them to make them jump back a bit so I, it wasn't intended to do damage it was right. more intended as a forced disengage right if you know what i mean um let's see so they will all have to roll and dexterity save to see if they actually jump out of the way in time without taking damage uh oh. attributes let me open all right here we go uh dex save I'll roll three. One passes. Two passes. One fails. Okay. So this guy successfully jumps out of the way. This guy jumps out of the way. This guy fails, and he's going to take some damage. And he takes Every little help. three. Boom. Sure. Uh, so that's your turn? That'll be my turn, yeah. Uh, Wolf 2, where are you? Wolf the one that didn't jump away. That is 2, okay. Um, he kind of listens to kind one of, of the, uh, the wolves that said protect the pups. And he's going to turn around and run back to the cave. Uh, you can get an attack of opportunity if you want. Uh, but that will use yes. your react. That will use your reaction, though. So that would mean that any damage I took, you I wouldn't be have. able to use my. Okay. So your um, choice. I'll let him go. I'll okay. let that one go. He's just gonna to clear up some room around me. Five, and, uh, oops, let, him go. let me move him. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's gonna. He's up here. <laughs> Whatever. He's right there. Good enough. Uh, Wolf five is gonna do the same. Oops. Can't walk. Don't walk across the fire. Uh, they go back to defend Hi, the bigger wolves. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Big boy is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, oh, 30, 35, 40. <clears throat> uh, gotta look this up. Hold on. 40. 45. Oh, I'm lost where I'm doing. Okay, so he's gonna move. There. He can't reach you. Good. <laughs> um. I don't need it. Actually, he's gonna use his uh, action to push to move this other wolf out of the way. And he's not fully lined. Oh, it's because he's a large size. Large size suck to deal with. I um, thought you were gonna say he takes his action to. Sh to shake the tree. I'm yeah. like, please, no. <laughs> right, uh, this time. Echo's turn. This time. Don't I'm going... 
We're going in with an Eldritch Blast, and I'm attacking the wolf that is closest to me. Okay. This dude there. There you go, that's hey. a hit. Hey. <clears throat> okay, um... And then how close am I? Do 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 do. Can I also um, use my dagger on him, or is that? Can no, I, that, that's a different action. Up? Yep. Uh, you need to do your uh, damage, though. Of course I do. Jesus Christ! <laughs> you might want to hurt him. Holy crap! Good damage. Ooh. Oof. All right, uh, is that your turn? Yes. All right. Uh, Wolf One is going to attack Lushu. No! Uh, fortunately, he doesn't have any allies nearby, so he doesn't get advantage, and he misses. Oh. Uh, it is Pancog's turn. Uh, where's your actions? There we go. No. Damn it, I just have to keep Hancock's sheet open. Um, and she has her thing on wolf five. So, bop. Did that hit? That miss. Do it again. And a crit miss. Ooh. I really don't want her to shoot you. How am I going to make her crit miss? Uh, I'm going to say she loses her... She loses one action next turn because she dropped her bow. Because I, I don't want her to shoot you. Oh, that would be rough. Um, but Kyrian is going to shift over this way. And uh, do a... Do you want to do a bite? Yeah, she's going to try to bite the wolf. Eat. And hits. For... Oh, big damage. Big damage. Uh, didn't get system shock, but wolf five is hurting. And Corrin's turn. I didn't know if I was muted or not. Nope, you're good. Um, and these are the wolves where we're getting paid to to kill. To deal with, kill whatever you want to do. Um, okay, so. I'm going to, um, oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to use, um, probably want to try to use, um, I guess, um, either Frostbite or, um, or either Ice Knife. Or can I, can I use Call of Light, Call of Lightning? Let's see. 120 feet. But I don't want it to... to Stormcloud appears in the shape of a uh, cylinder. 60-foot <clears throat> radius. Holy shot. The spell fails. You can't see a point in the... Blah, 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 blah. When you cast a spell, choose a point. You can see a bolt of lightning flashes down from the cloud to that point. Each creature within five feet of that point makes a dexterity feat. Or dexterity saving throw. That's interesting. Okay, so you essentially it spawns a 60-foot radius 
that you can have and any point in that radius you can choose a lightning strike to happen right yeah okay. under the cloud will it each creature will within it... go ahead it says uh, each it creature so it would my... it would hurt uh enemy if you if it's within the range it would hurt who if anyone that's within five feet of the flashpoint yes it would hurt anything uh, okay. i also i um... forgot to i forgot to say as uh, that white <laughs> the big white wolf walked up or ran up you see sparks of uh like power and electricity arcing around him uh, okay. um then I'm going to use um I'm gonna use frostbite I okay. think come here we gotta follow she's taking for the follow um is frostbite a touch attack hold on frostbite uh, nope, 60 feet. Okay. Oh, hold on. I thought... That's so cool. I thought, um... Oh, that is weird. I... What, what is erupting Earth? I'm so sorry. Let's I'm see. asking because it came up with Earth Tremor for some reason as a third level spell. Fountain of Churned oh, Earth my. and Stone... Oh, that's that's it's identical to uh, call lightning, except it starts on the ground and does slightly more damage. Oh, okay. Well, and it makes use... difficult terrain. Oh, that's kind of cool. Possible. Neat. That's a cool spell. That thing's nasty. Oh, uh, frostbite. Wait, this frostbite should have an attack, right? Uh, let's see. I think I saw it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a ranged. Oh no, it doesn't have an attack. They just have to make a, a saving throw. So, so, so draw the the save thing under frostbite. Drag that onto the person you want to make a save throw. I want. Yeah. And Luckily, the wolf succeeded, nothing. so it doesn't take okay. any uh, take any damage. Okay. Uh, next, uh, the other big wolf is coming. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Oh my God, that's a lot. Oh God, that's a big boy. Also, the other wolf didn't move its full direction, but whatever. Um, also, this is spelled wrong. Hold on. Edit. Oh, um, I'm going to put it out here. Um, I should now have um, a sort of disadvantage because Lushu is afraid of fire. And oh, okay. if the fire flame wolf is there, then obviously he's within yep. distance. Um, and... Yeah, as the other wolf walks up, the black wolf is, uh, you can see wreaths of flame flickering off of its fur. Um, it's just not obviously like an on-fire wolf, but it, as they move, you kind of see a little fire. Well, that explains the owl bear. <laughs> I was going to say that would be the scorching yeah. on the owl bear. Then. Yeah. Um, let's see. Why isn't this updating? It's freaking weird. This is not working properly. It's named wrong. Why is it named wrong? Can I... Will this refresh it? It's named weird. I don't know why. Um, but... The, uh, the wolf lets loose a, uh... Flee! Kind of thing. And, uh... Let's loose a fiery blast in a, a 15 foot cone let's see five ten okay so the cone is gonna hit corin and echo so corin's roll 
He just rolls a freaking 20. Holy Whoa. crap. You good? Yeah, oh, you, you are done. fine. Like, oh, no. And then Echo's roll is a 2 <laughs> and fails. You take 2d8 fire damage. Ouch. And then it's... Oops, how do I make this thing work? Uh, how do I make this thing used? Oh, there we go. Cool. Okay, so now that just let off a fire breath. Boom. And uh, Corrin barely managed to, to escape. Um, actually, sorry. How do I do half damage? Because you still dodge it, but you take half the damage. So, let's do this. Nine, so you take four damage, Corrin. Okay. Alright, so you're fine. And then, um, it's Wolf Six's turn. Is Wolf Six the one up here? Nope. Oh, Wolf it's the one near me and Corrin. Yep. Okay, so the... I'm gonna... I'm gonna roll to see which one it hits. Alright, hits you, Echo. Wolf is... Going... <laughs> I knew it was gonna be me. Bonk. And hits. Oops. Why isn't it rolling? There you go. And you take five damage. Roll a strength check. Ooh. You fail and you are knocked prone. Wolf four. <laughs> the one that got shoved out of out of the way is gonna move forward and attack Kyrian at advantage. Because friends are nearby. It's for Kyrian's out again. Mm. And it is round three. Okay. Lucio, you're up, my dude. All right, so I'm going to attack wolf number one. Okay. That's got a hit. Yep. And damage. Uh, you get right, you get your sneak attack. By the way, he's already unconscious. Oh yeah, I guess it didn't matter. <laughs> All right. So, um, right. I can now use um, another. Thing? I can use my. There. Bear with me. I can use my face step now, can't I? Uh. Do I have oh, the misty step. The only thing I've done is attack. Yeah. Uh, let's, where is that? Elf training, keen sense. Face step. You green Face in? step. Yeah, briefly surrounded by a silvery mist, you can teleport up to 30 feet to an unaccompanied space that you can see. How can and I? And it says one casting time, one bonus action. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Okay, awesome then. That's what I was looking uh, for was I'm the gonna... action. Oh, uh, fuck yeah, out you, of you here. You might want to get the hell out. <laughs> I'm getting the heck out of dodge. Yeah, GTFO. Uh, GTFO. So, yeah, I'm going to go back. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to go here so I can still have a line of sight with my bow and arrow and stuff, but I need to step out of the, okay. out of the frame oh, for a Oh, crap. Do you so, know what I forgot to do? That flame attack uh, hit her, hit, hit that other pet, or that wolf. I forgot to roll the wolf uh, deck save. It would have been the cones, so yeah, it would have. Yeah, it, so hold right. on, let me let me fix that. Uh, open offense. Uh, you roll a deck save, and it failed, and it takes a bunch of damage, and it's still alive. Hi, Kaneki. Yo, oh, she was with me a minute ago. She tried to jump off in the yep. cabinet, okay. failed, and slid down it. Hey, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wolf yeah. 2 is running into the cave and disappearing. Yo. Same with Wolf 5. 
Hey. No, you. Uh, you're the bestest kid. You're the bestest kid. No, Connie Key is the best. Let's see. She is the Big best. Big boy is going Do to. You know oh, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> Alright, so they were here. Where's Pancog? Off in the middle of nowhere. Okay. He's gonna five whoops. Click there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Actually we'll move here. And he unleashes his lightning breath on What's the range on that? 30 foot line. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's gonna step a couple. Yeah. So he's gonna hit, unleash a lightning breath on Lushu, who games freezing, and you pass it. And he's also, it hits Pancog. Who passes as well. So you guys take half damage, but just a lightning blast by you. You guys both manage to dodge it. So 2d8. That's not how that works. So that was a three. So Lucio took three and Pancog took five. Lushu took three. Pancog is down here. Takes five. Boop. And he's going to. Oh wait, that's a. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna let him do another attack. Um, Echo's turn. <laughs> Okay, I am going to... Is the wolf near me, number six, passed out yet? Or is it nope. still... Still hanging on. Oh, okay, right. I'm going to attack that one. Uh, you missed. Oh, you rolled a one. What? Wait, why don't no, you roll with a disadvantage? Yeah, don't roll a disadvantage. Huh? Oh, no, because she's knocked prone. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you didn't stand up. Oh, shit. Well, well, I'll say you stand up. Hold on. Uh, effects. Alright, go ahead and reroll. Okay. First day attacks. Alright, that's a hit. 13 lucky number. Yep, there you go. Excuse me. And doggy. Did the damage drop? Uh, you, yeah, drab, uh, you did do damage, so go ahead and drag damage on him. Yeah. And that one is dying. You ex you exceeded his life by Oof. one. Oof. Uh, wolf one. It's going to five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and attack Corin. Whoops. Oh well, that worked. Eleven. Yeah. I actually don't think that hits. Uh, nope. Mrs. Corrin. Uh, Pancock's turn. And is going to... Is Wolf 5 dead yet? Wolf 5 ran away! The one that she had marked. Alright. Uh, Pancock, I keep closing your stinking character sheet. And... Pancog is gonna shoot at the big boy that's right next to Lushu. She is just getting not good rolls. Alright, she's gonna roll for a normal attack. And rolls a two. Oh my god. That's unfortunate. Uh, Corrin's turn. So you have two... Uh, wolf four is down too. Hold on. 
four. Where's Wolf Four? Oh, that's six. No wonder. You there, Corin? She might have stepped away for a minute. Hello. Oh, she's there she is. Okay. Um, I am going to see if I can use erupting earth. Okay. Um. Where are you targeting it? On the big wolf. There's two big wolves. Oh, the black one. Okay. So you're gonna target it right there. Uh, 20 foot cube. Where? So it's a 20 foot radius, which that thing just takes up. So. Oh, wait, no, that's. That only takes up 10. That. Alright, you're gonna have to place it somewhere unless you wanna get hit by it. I'm five, thinking 10, like somewhere up here or something like five, that. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, you can place it in a way that the edges still hit them, but they won't hit you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I'm kind of wanting to do. Uh, go ahead and roll the deck save onto the wolf. Okay. 3d12 damage, my god. And it passes. No. And but it still takes half damage. So go uh, roll three d twelve. And the area's difficult terrain. I might have to draw on it. Hold on. Uh, draw square. Um. So it takes thir fourteen damage. Uh, fourteen damage. That's a lot of damage. Um, and I'm going to draw... How big is Was it a 20-foot, right, square? Uh, uh, I think so. Erupting Earth. Let's give it a brownish color. Yeah, and, I, and it five, becomes 10, difficult 15, terrain. 20. And 15, 20. Um, how do I undo that? Delete. Uh, I'm not going to draw it there because that will hit Kyrian. Yeah. All right. Can you see that one? Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can so see it. So that area is now difficult terrain. Cool. Um, and uh, do you want to move at all? Uh, actually, Wolf One would get an attack of opportunity if you move, but it's up to you. Um. Move. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, okay. The wolf is going to... Throw fire at us again. Nope. Can't do it. So it takes 10 movement to get out of there. Or 20 movement to get out. Actually, no, that'd be 10. How come this wolf is... Goofily aligned in the middle of a there. tree. Jeez. Okay. Um, this is gonna attack you, Corin. And misses. Uh, Wolf Four is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Attacks Lushu. Uh, gets advantage. Forgot to roll that. And hits for... Six damage. See if you pass your save. 
Nope. You are now knocked prone again. I have five HP left. You guys are getting no, tripped the fuck up. This would have been the time to have a paladin or some yeah, sort of Yeah, you guys lost your warrior. <laughs> uh... All right, Lucio, it's your oh, turn. Lordy. All right, then. Um, I'm assuming you're going to stand up. Yes, I'm stand up. And... Um, what does a potion count as? Uh, what kind of potions do you guys have? I forget. Oh, do you it's mean just, like an it just action? Says a normal potion. Health potion. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. it's like an action. What, what it, does it do? It's an action to use it. And I forget how much it heals. It should be there. Potion. Potions heal. 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Okay, uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, so let me just... Uh, that one. One and Four. three. Jesus so Christ, six. it wasn't even worth it. Heal 6. Okay, then. Worth, I guess. Um... Uh, so that would be that's 18, 18 now. There we go. Um, so I can I can't attack now, right? Uh, you're at 16, my dude. 16. Sorry, that's yeah, the one. Um, um, can you take your potion down? Here, I'll do it. Yeah, two potions oh, left. Sorry, here we go. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that um, took your action. So, so I can't attack now. Nope. But I <laughs> do get a bonus action. Um, and I'm gonna use my cunning action as a bonus action to disengage, yes. Um, and that's man. 10 feet, am I right? Uh huh. Okay, so I'm gonna just go hop, hop, <laughs> just over to you. Yep. <laughs> fuck you! Two middle fingers up, so going backwards. Uh, actually, no, sorry. Disengage, you can use your full movement. You just don't provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. So you have so a full 10, movement. 15! <laughs> just, I'm out! Just running. <laughs> yeah, 25, 30, running towards Echo and Corrin. Help me! <laughs> just running <laughs> from these wolves. Yeah, I'm in my turn there. Okay. Um, next. Uh, I'm just going to hide these guys because they disappeared. Both of those. Uh, it is Bolt's turn. He's going to run. Oh, the, dude, they're gonna definitely gonna try to surround you guys. Um, so he's gonna come five and. 15, 20. Now he's miscellaneed. There you go. Oh. Yeah, that's nasty. My cat just opened the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> she went to see outside. And now she's laying in front of him, just chill. All in right. the gap. I'm going to roll to see who he attacks. All right, Corrin, he attacks you. Yeah, he just rolls at advantage. Forgot. He's still hit, though. All right, he just hits. And take... Nine damage. That is his turn. Echo's turn. Okay. I'm going to go for... Same again. It's not a lot I can do. I'm going to have to look at my spells, actually. Um, right. Again, I'm gonna go in with the uh, Eldritch Blast, but to the big you, you can use your um, other spells and stuff if you want to like give armor and stuff to people. Good point. Uh, but I'll, I'm gonna keep that one because that was a good throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was great. So are you gonna attack or no? All right, attack, yes. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, you rolled your hit twice. Uh, you need to do damage. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. So oh, damn it. Oh. Two damage. Why does your damage feel funky? Oh, that's right, because uh, the charisma modifier 
isn't much. Uh, Wolf One is going to attack. He's unconscious. You're right. Hide. All right, so you have three <laughs> downed wolves. Uh, Kyrian is knocked the fuck out. Pancog is going to... What kind of actions does Pancog have? What can... All right, what's... This is a touch action. That sucks. All right, so... 5, 10, 15, 20... 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can't even get near you guys. All right, she's just going to go for broke and try to attack. Also, Echo, uh, we haven't been uh, using your familiar. We should probably get you a familiar at some point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I've got my familiar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get you summon one at some point. Okay, dog. All right. Just gonna shoot the one that's near the big guy near Lushu. And misses, dude. Pancog, just missing every attack. Ah, there's a critical hit. Oh wait, hang on. Did um, Pancog pick up her bow yet? Because she crit fell before and dropped. Oh, it. that's right. So no. Take that into so, account. Yeah. So. I will say, I will keep the crit that she did mm -hmm. as Thank her thing. You. <laughs> and uh, we will roll um, this damage. And does some decent damage to the big boy. Corrin's turn. Um, I'm going to use... Um, you hear? I we jumped them out the run. Take them out. <clears throat> that was was called. I could do that. Um. I'll probably just use. Well, no. earth is it anything that i can do twice or is it just i mean can you move it around like, nope is it... it's just a one time explode innate okay. you, you can do it again if you want because you have another spell slot okay because i've got ice and fire attacks i don't think ice will do anything to it since it's a fire wolf um... Maybe I'll try call lightning. Okay. Um, and that has a 60 foot radius. And where would you want to drop that? On the black wolf. And to hopefully not hit any of your friends. Uh. Because you, it, it makes a cloud. But then, um, you can choose it to have it strike at any point within the cloud, I guess. It's, I'm going to read it again, because there's something interesting about it. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Baba, you can see it. Choose When you cast a spell, choose a point you can see under the cloud. A bolt of lightning flashes down from the cloud to that point. Each creature within five feet of that point must make a deck save. Okay. So you can cast a cloud, and then you can choose a lightning to strike at that point. And then um, anyone within a five feet radius of it has to do a save. Okay, so me and Echo would be in a five foot radius? Uh, you could probably cast it 
in a way well no so you can cast it directly above you but you can choose to have it strike somewhere hopefully out of your range within five feet of the air so okay. so say you choose to, you wouldn't do this but say you chose to strike the lightning on top of your head all the squares around you would be affected and they would have to roll so that's how the lightning works okay so i might just do it on this bottom wolf right here the the radius um, unless it's that's a huge yeah. fucking circle that's 120 feet so you could actually cover What's this the... whole battlefield technically or almost okay. 5 10 15 okay. 20 25 30 <laughs> 35 40 45 50 dude cool 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's, dude, it's like literally the whole battlefield. 20, <laughs> 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Yep. It's the whole fucking map. Uh, how do I draw? Oh, <laughs> no, not that. I want to draw a circle. There it is. Okay. I wish you could undo... Um, but it's pretty much this whole fucking thing. That is the area that your storm cloud makes. And you can Holy choose it. Jesus. It's actually bigger than oh that, but you no, know, there's nothing gosh. anything around. Yeah. Because it's a 60 foot radius, so it's 120 feet diameter. That is. This is one of those Leroy Jenkins moves, dude. Yeah. It's like all or nothing. <laughs> Legit, dude. That's the Super Saiyan ring there, dude. <laughs> How do I fucking... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. <laughs> My god, okay. So, yeah, you can strike a point anywhere in that area. Oh, also, I... Oh, okay, I can strike, like, a singular point. And also... I thought everywhere was getting struck. I was like, Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. I'm Just right going to kill. <laughs> Uh, That's like Voltorb self-destruct. I'm probably gonna get this wolf right here. If you do it, um, here I'll move you where. If you do it here, you would hit. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you do it here, you would hit Wolf One. That's obviously gone, but you would hit the White Wolf without affecting any of your friends. Just saying, if you wanted to do that, or you can hit Wolf Four. It's up to you. Oh wait, um, that that one has lightning. Four. Yeah, you want to hit Wolf Four? Okay. Um, yeah, because so, the the white one has lightning. Yeah, you're right. Resistance. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty Let's sure. do. Uh, so roll, drag the dexterity save on Wolf Four. My God, that's a huge area. It's kind of beautiful in a way. Uh, so he failed. He takes three d10 uh... damage. It's 3d10. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's fucking dead. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> There's it's no got, fucking yeah, way yeah. that's gonna stay. What do you mean it's dead? It's not even there anymore. It's just a big puff of smoke. Right? Oof. And a black char mark. Wolf 4, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. As that happens, Lucy kind of looks over towards Corrin and lets out a damn! You've been holding back your Kamehameha this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as soon as. Uh, the white, the big white wolf notices a another uh, wolf fall. Uh, he lets out a thunderous roar and says, "Enough! This isn't helping anyone." Actually, you know, we're gonna redo that. We gotta give him some fucking echo. Enough! This isn't helping anyone. There we go. And uh, that was beautiful. <laughs> big fan. Big fan. And, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. And hold oh. up. And at the sound of that, the, the forest goes silent. Because that big uh, thunderous Luke, boom. Does the thing um, that the, the little cat from Puss in Boots does. Just, ooh. ooh. Um, <laughs> each of you need to roll a... Oh, what is it? A constitution save. Hey! Nice roll, bro. Cut that. 
And Pancog rolled <laughs> Oh, Pancog super failed. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what is it with these shitty rolls tonight? Pancog is and uh, oh. Echo. Yeah, you, oh, you guys rolled checks. You, you, you guys want to roll. You guys want to roll saves, but it's good enough. Unless one of you has proficiency, which I doubt because of your classes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Echo and Pancog are stunned in fear. Uh, Corin, you are obviously shaken. But you're able to move, but you're going to move at half speed. Lucio, you're just like, the fuck happened? But you're good. You're fine. <laughs> um, awesome. And after that, um, the the giant wolf kind of looks around the battlefield and uh, with with pain in his eyes and says, This, this needs to stop. And uh, who's near him? Uh... He just kind of eyeballs. Well, Corin and Echo are kind of fuck, and uh, he just kind of <laughs> looks at Lushu, just pain in his eyes at uh, the sight of his his pack and the fighting that's been going on. Guys, I'm wondering if this was worth the money. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm really uh, sorry. But the like I did these these wolves were literally just like protecting what is it puppies apparently they're wolf pups his his the argument I did come in peace I came in peace they had the option they had did the peaceful option did they say they did, they they did. Um, yes they were the one who instantly called out to get the hunters or hunters they, they didn't just said hunters I mean, they, they didn't say get they didn't them. say hunters been hunted by other human beings mm -hmm. so maybe they just thought we were hunters too because if, if you remember if you do remember that we weren't hunters have been coming to their den to try to or been attacking them this whole time so what how else are they going to respond they think they're under attack i mean exactly like if if i was like one of one of those wolves i'd be wary of the other people too and think they're hunters I don't know. I wouldn't judge everyone mm. by the same. Uh, so you guys are just standing there. He's waiting for uh, any sort say, of response. I'm gonna say, uh, uh, well, I did come in peace. Uh, I, I did come to, to offer some wood for your fence. That is all, you know. Uh, and you just didn't get the see chance. if you need. God. You know. Uh, he kind of looks around. Uh, we'll say that he notices there's a you gesture to a pile of wood, <laughs> or, which are technically, I guess, I guess they're torches that you had bought. <laughs> just a pile. A shifty eye. Yeah. Be like, you call this piece? <laughs> um. But he just kind of he ju just kind of drops his head. And uh, it says, like, um, this, this needs to be solved with peace. We can't go out living like this. And then uh, the other one says, uh, let's see. Fool! We have them on the run. Why stop now? <clears throat> I sense a bit of yin and yang going on here. Um, <clears throat> well... We, if you need help, we can help you. If there's anything you need help with, we honestly have good intentions, apart from, you know, when we're trying to defend ourselves. We will. I know. Um, you say that out loud? Yep. Okay. Uh, he will respond. Is that, um... As we have done the same. Then we're on the same grounds. He, uh, he kind of gestures <clears throat> to you, uh, or he gestures to the other wolves to, uh, stand down. And, uh, he says, what's he gonna say? 
There's got to be an end. There's got to be a way to solve this peacefully. Can we come to some sort of agreement? For the sake of both our, oh. the, my pack and uh, your people. Of course, that, that's one of the main reasons we came here. Yo, I've got a fucked up idea. <laughs> um, Leave the pups alone. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking these wolves' main problem is that hunters keep coming after them. So as long as the hunters know that they are in this area, they're going to keep coming back. Um, we have to take something back to basically show the hunters that the wolves have been taken care of. Um, so, in my head, I'm thinking, if these two are leaders of the pack and they really want peace, perhaps they'd be willing to... Uh, this, 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 this is rather fucked up. Perhaps lose one of their ears or lose a scruff of their tail to take back as proof I mean, that they've been killed just... and they could run. Well, when because they, like, when they, they want it, we bring back a little bit of wolf. They're like, that's not what we've really been seeing. Like, if we bring back yeah, a wolf tail the normal. size of a fucking arm, like they'd be like, okay, what that's we just... gone by now. What if we take one of their tooths or something? I don't know. You're asking. I don't but know. The, that wouldn't that wouldn't solve the problem of the wolves continuing to attack and you know steal flock and sheep and stuff. You know, they exactly. just one would just would have one less ear or tail. Mm. <laughs> it seems to be we we could take oh, that 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 now, I've, got, I've got an idea. Um you seem to be quite clever, intuitive um creatures. And I see you building a fence and everything. Maybe we could teach you how to, to farm, maybe we could give you some ideas. Uh so that then you don't have to steal sheep. You've got your own, and you can live and sustain yourselves yourselves. Uh, a twinkle kind of happens in uh, uh, the white wolf's eye, and uh, he, you can see that he's kind of remembering stuff, and he says, uh, I've only wanted my pack to thrive. We've been using our you found abilities to boost our quality of life. My, my pups won't risk starvation in the winter thanks to the horde of sheep we have. My elderly won't have to be left behind when they're no longer able to hunt. We drove off the owl bear that had been plaguing the woods for years, and we made its home our den. I would like nothing more than to be able to live peacefully with my pack. And the other wolf... Uh, chimes in, says, Coward, you've never wanted to take the offensive, always sticking up for these humans that have done nothing but slaughter our pack for generations. Now that we have them on the defensive, we should be taking what we need. You've mentioned keeping the pack alive and strong. What, how strong, how much stronger could we be if we just took what we need? It's working, and we should maintain that. And Lucia will pipe up and say, but doesn't that work both ways? Don't yeah, you just see carry... the villagers are trying to defend their flock, their pack. The villagers are trying to stop them from going hungry. The villagers and you have a lot more in common than what you see. You're just seeing this from your point of view. She, uh, the, uh, if you keep attacking, um, if you keep attacking other mm. humans, other hunters they'll send more and more after you and i don't think that's what you want uh the big black yeah. wolf responds uh with a big smile princess man mononoke kind of big wolf smile and, oh my and God. says like it's like <laughs> Let them come. Grin. <laughs> we've been driving them off for months they they bring their stick they bring their fire but we fought them off every time they've been destroying our kind since the beginning of time it is time that we take the offensive simple human lives mean nothing to the wolf pack 
and then how do you expect your life to mean something to the humans if you don't expect them back? And you say you have these newfound abilities. Are you talking about the ability to speak? And um, build. She goes to respond. She chuckles. <laughs> we, we fear not the humans anymore. They should be exterminated from our land. And she begins to growl. She looks like she's about to pounce again. And the other white wolf says, Flame, please, let us, let us speak. And, uh, as he says, yeah, uh, he, he's, because you mentioned his newfound abilities, uh, he kind of squints his eyes and looks up, and he says, uh, It was many moons ago, a, uh, a human walked into our land and was trespassing. And as we've been attacked and driven off from many lands before, we did nothing but defend our land. But I remember there was a flash of bright light. And uh, the, my memories are hazy. But uh, when uh, we were all knocked unconscious, but when we awoke, the, uh, the human, as he is called, the light bringer, was gone. But we found our minds working much faster than before. Almost instantly, we were able to talk, and our memories were filled with strange images and information that appear to me to, to appear to us in dreams. That is how we have been able to uh, build these fences and go on our raids and be able to make make our way with as little death as possible. So you learnt your actions through the humans that you claim to hate. Doesn't that sound kind of? Hypocritical. You you misunderstand. We didn't learn anything from the human. You're but it is because of a human up one day that you are able to do what you do. Yeah. The light bringer. Um, you say the light bringer brought you powers, but did anything else change? We are still coming. You're... We're still learning what our new abilities are. Uh, but we are far more intelligent than we were. Well, clearly. I mean, there's two options. You can either carry this on and it'll be an endless war between you and humans forever, or we can end it here and you can teach yourself how to sustain yourself. Just, you know, keep your puppy safe. Be, be yourself. We cannot trust these humans. They've done nothing but lie and hunt and kill. Lucia will look up and say, Well, we're the first humanoids you've spoken to. All the others you've attacked. Maybe this is the turning point. Maybe now is the opportunity you should be taking. He, uh, Bolt kind of thinks to himself, <laughs> I propose a settlement. Wrong thing. Hold on. I propose a settlement. We would be allowed to control the woods and the uninhabited lands to the west in return for keeping the area free of other predators and not raiding themselves. So okay, you want to call this land your own in a return for the safety of uh, nearby towns and villages. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, he's essentially saying that they'll keep any other predators at bay. Um, they won't raid the town as long as they get to control the woods. And th does I that mean that... that... Sorry, does that mean that the town's hunters would be barred from hunting in those woods? Yeah. In the west. In, in the, the west, west part yeah. of the woods, yeah. Okay. In the uninhabited but stuff, will... too. I, I I would find that agreeable, but I, I believe we need to. Do we need to talk to the townspeople first, or do we make the settlement now before? Because otherwise, it would just go on. Well, we, we we could tell them that we will return the message to the town, and um, I, Lucy's going to recommend that they hide for now, um, in case the town doesn't 
think it's a good idea. Um, I also think it's a good idea for us not to tell them exactly where the wolves are, but just tell them that we found them, we've spoken to them. Um, Feather Rock is not crazy, they do speak. Um, explain that there's a, it is a very similar situation as to the rats in Yalish. Mm-hmm. I think it's Yalish. They just want to live um, freely. And- yeah, and then if, they, if the town sees it as a bad thing, then we know that it's probably not safe for the wolves to be here, and we can cross that bridge when it comes to it. But, yeah, I think that might be the most sensible thing to do right now, is to go back and tell them, but don't let them know where they are exactly. And they offered to kill off predators as well, so... Yes. Oh, yeah. is, in that case, um, on the way back, um, would I be able to take because I know I took some owlbear meat but it could be the meat of anything at that yeah. point, there's no, there's no like defin- definition uh, bit of it, defining features sorry, um, so on the way back if we do go back to the town, I want to like maybe cut off the owlbear's like paw or, you know, just something to be like, the wolves took care of this, um, they cool. are willing to help, it's kind of a, like um, a peace a offering, gesture. say look, we, we took care of the owlbear, That's because like, they said it was plague in the woods for years, mm-hmm. um, so it's probably been an issue in the town in the past, um, so for them to do that, that is yeah, like a sign of a peace treaty, so to sure. say, so yeah. that's what I want to do on the way back, if we decide to do that, I want to take the owlbear's paw. Okay, so how do you guys respond to uh, Bolt's proposition? Personally, I see that as most agreeable. Same. But we don't uh, run the nearby town. We will get the message to the nearby town. And uh, if they if they see fit, the woods are yours. The West Park. <laughs> I'll tell you what, as, as we were like, you know, talking about this, I'm going to reach into my bag without taking the bear trap out so they don't see it. But I am going to take the bear, uh, the owlbear meat out of the, the bear trap and just kind of throw it towards flame and be like, maybe that'll make you happy for a bit. Um, before you even <laughs> do that, uh, as, as Echo says that uh, she believes that the terms are agreeable, you just have to talk to the townsfolk. Uh, flame uh, growls and says, You coward! And immediately attacks uh, Bolt. <gasps> what? No. We, we must defend Bolt. Um, defend Bolt at all costs. You guys are back on initiative. Let's go. Um, all right. Hold on. Oh, well, you don't have to re-roll. You're, you're just going to keep the same oh, initiative. Okay. Um, okay. Whoever's next. Oh, okay. And, oh, wow. It was Flame's turn next. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. um, actually, that, that's going to be her action. Is uh she attacks Bolt and she takes him out of the combat. Um, let's see. Oh, I did next actor. Oh, round five. Uh, Lucius' turn. Hey, them. So I'm gonna be heading up. Um, he won't get an attack of opportunity because obviously Bolt's not attacking me. I guess. So well, yeah. five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm gonna move to here, so I've got a nice line of sight, and I'm going to attempt. To attack uh, flame with my short bow. Okay. Boom. And yeah. that should be all right. Yep. yep. Cool. And one d six plus four. Oh, max damage. Nice. Let me, hey. let me remove that arrow. Okay. There we go. Um, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, I'm she, low health. I'm getting close. Uh... <laughs> Destroy them all. And then uh, two wolves wearing <laughs> never ending. Two wolves wearing uh, oh, armored wolves. Oh yeah, shit. wearing leather armor come out of the whatever the cave entrance. Echo's turn. Okay, right. Okay, I'm gonna um five, ten, fifteen. And I'm going to shoot with my crossbow for a change. See, action. There it is. Oh, the scissors in here. Scissors, I don't know. Uh, 
Oh no, I, I used a dagger. Damn it, you you confused me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, hang on. That's you still sorry, hit. I'm gonna have to you re -roll. still hit. Just roll the damage. Okay, fine. It's fine. Cool. Hey. Oh, that's why. Come on. It's stinking loud. Ooh, fitting tune. Okay. Um, so I can't move this over here. Um, you did damage. Nice. Um, are you gonna move or anything, or are you just gonna stand there? I am going to, uh, five, ten, fifteen, get out of, uh, Lucio's way of shot, just in case. Okay. Uh, Kyrian is down. Hancog is going to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Hancock's just gonna run all the way up there. Uh, Corrin's turn. Um, can I use healing word on Bolt? Uh, you can. Let me, let me look at your call lightning thing, too. Yeah. So, um, if you were to use a lightning strike again, that takes your action. Otherwise, you can use healing word, because that's also an action. Um, I think I'm just going to use healing word on a uh, bolt to try to, um, and you said he was knocked out of combat, right? Yep. I'm trying to get him back into combat so he can... Kind of help us. Uh, I don't think he'd be able to rejoin Maybe. combat. Oh no. Mm -mm. Okay. Um. Then I might use call lightning on flame. Okay. Uh. Yeah. You'd be able to do that without hurting yourself. Um. So do the deck save on her. She fails. 3d10. That's what it is, right? Oh. Yep. Well, it keeps disappearing. I'm just gonna roll it. There we go. Ouch! Uh, you didn't drag that on her, so... I'm sorry. It's it fine. wasn't letting me. Here, let me. Let me open the calculator. That's why I, I did it over there, because I, I wasn't... Sure, it wouldn't. It kept just disappearing. Uh, plus 18. Alright, well. She's taken out. So, uh, you successfully take her out. Um, if you want to move, you can move. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lucy's turn. Okay. Um. Well, I in that case, um, the armored wolves are still up there. Um. Okay. Possibly heal the heal bolt. Um. I have no healing spells. <laughs> I'm a rogue. Oh, oh yeah, because you're a rogue. <laughs> um. I am going to attempt. Can I hit Armored Wolf two from here with my short bow? Uh, it'll you'll be at disadvantage because you're shooting through two trees. Okay, then. Well, in that case, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh. Also, what's the distance? Even then, it's through. Is that 
through a tree? Yeah, it would be through a tree, wouldn't it? Yep. Um, so I'll tell you what, so that I'll move back. I won't attack those. I'm going to use my um, short bow on the dire wolf for lame. Uh, she's down. Oh, she's down? Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, I didn't mean to roll that. I already... She's down. Oh, freaking, 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 freaking. Um, yeah, freaking oh, no, lightning strikes case, from then. the heavens, so, freaking Corrin. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I'll say that. And I'll try to short bow on armor 2, but I roll this advantage, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter, but the same. <laughs> yeah, you hit. <clears throat> I hit? Awesome. And then... Mm -hmm. Uh, sit down, holy shit, feet. dude. <laughs> sit down, how dude. Did you, you got I, how did that work? Because <laughs> fucking all the other wolves have been surviving like one or two hits, and that one you just <laughs> take Easy. out. How? That's impressive. Okay, sure, that one's down. That's your turn. He's at the rim. He's out. Uh, armored Wolf 2. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh my god. Can gonna... it really? It can run that fast? Okay. Yep, they're 40 feet. <laughs> I didn't. Wow. And he misses. <laughs> the, the normal wolves were better than the armored wolves. What is this nonsense? <laughs> Oh, pardon me. Uh, that wolf is. Wait, what? Turn armored wolf one. He's unconscious. That was weird. Bolt is unconscious. Uh, Echo's turn. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30. Is Wolf 1 out? Yeah, Wolf 1 is right in front of Lushu. Okay. Oh no, he's not taken out. Also... But you can hit him. Okay. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go for crossbow with you. Oof. Why is this not working? Right, okay. And you miss. No surprise. Alright. <laughs> you, guys, you guys ran around from Pancock. 5, 10, 15, 20. Actually, she didn't even have to move. All right, Pancog is going to attack. Yoink. Did she hit? She hit! And takes him out. All right. He successfully managed to take out the two armored wolves that uh, came to flame's aid, and combat is officially over. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> can I can I use healing word to at least bring up a bolt? Yes, bolt. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Just sure. Uh, Pancog is gonna run over to Kyrian and use a spell to heal her, him up as well. Okay. Uh, so combat is officially over. Uh, you heal. Uh, bolt up to <clears throat> consciousness, and uh, he realizes that uh, his mate has been downed and obviously in pain. Uh, he kind of turns away from you guys and uh, starts limping back into his cave. And uh, as he's walking back to his cave away from you guys, he kind of says in a low tone, he's like, I hope that you will bring good news. 
and he oh. continues to walk back into the <laughs> My the cave. No, oh, okay. okay then. We need to go back to the town, and ask them, and then come back with the news. Yes, Should we do. But first, remember me to stop off at the owl bear so I can take that paw as like a sign. Yeah. Up. Or before he goes in, would we be able to do anything with the black dire wolf, considering he's now dead? Oh, um, you could. I thought but... he was unconscious. No, the the, the black wolf. It, it seems dead. like it seems like flame was the problem. It seemed like Bolt was more of the survivor, and flame was more of the antagonizer. He enjoyed the fight. He enjoyed the hunt. Whereas you know Bolt was more about surviving. So I think what it was is it was it was more flame controlling what was going on. And now that it's dead, you know. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, a I don't know if he's... Or an owl bear paw? <laughs> like... I don't know, because he's, he's going to be sad that his mate is there and might want to do some kind of burial, I don't know. So if we mm. mess with a wolf, it might mess with the whole thing again. Hmm. That's the only okay. disadvantage I can see of anything that could go wrong in that situation. Just that. Mm -hmm. So it's an option. Up to you guys. What do you guys want to do? I'm more than happy with the owlbear. I mean, it'll get the job done. Yeah, owlbear. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think we should tell them that um, the wolves fought because they might see it as, you know, if they're going to fight against themselves, maybe we can use that as an advantage sort of thing. So we, we, we can just say we met one dire wolf, a uh, big white one. You Polo, will be coming back into town with wounds. <laughs> you have, we, most of you, we were playing with the puppies. Yeah, most of you are pretty <laughs> fucked up, to be we could, honest. Uh, we could blame the owl bear, even. We could. The owl bear got us good. We go back in Boo. before we get back to town. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah, when we go to the owl bear, we could take a short rest. Yeah, but you'll still have like wounds. They're just you know. Okay, we're just gonna have to say you'll that, have full um, life, but you'll have wounds. We're gonna have to say that there was uh, we can a, an evil owl bear. Yeah, he had the owl bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah just you messed us up. By an owl bear. Okay, so you guys are I mean, heading, gonna head back to town. Yeah, are you gonna rest at all or? Yeah, we'll have a short rest. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Well, at this point, it was nine p.m. when we started fighting. So is it safe to assume it's like you know quarter to ten, ten now? No, it's yeah. Uh, well. It... Depend if before the rest or after? Before the rest. Uh yeah, you guys have been fighting for about thirty minutes. Actually, no, that was like how many that was five rounds, so that's that was literally like two minutes of combat. Okay. Um kind of. but sure, if you take a short hours, rest, that's uh, four hours, so it'd yeah. be you know, two in the morning or one in the morning. Okay then. Um... Would it be worth taking well, I mean, a long rest? Might, yeah, it might be worth taking a long rest. Um, so they'd be five in the morning. Back in the morning. Yeah, and then how long was the journey? Uh, four hours. Four hours. Okay, then. So, so we'll get back around nine a.m. So that, yeah, that's I think that perfect. sounds pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, that's just that then. Yeah, long rest, please. Take your I long rest. Go, yeah. Uh, you head back. Uh, the uh, Bolt sent out a couple of the other wolves that obviously are wary of you, but he's they've been uh commanded not to uh, been commanded to leave you alone. Um, but they start gathering uh the other wolf bodies to uh their any sort of burial ritual they have, and uh they drag Flame back into the cave. And uh, as long as the and the other wolves, but they leave you alone uh, as you rest. Um, okay, perfect. We'll we'll just jump ahead uh, and say you're now arrived back into Welton, and uh, you guys head to the inn. 
Yes. Okay. Um, you guys arrive back at the inn, um, and uh, Tillis is in there doing his normal mayory stuff and making sure things are in order. Um, and uh, Merrickson is uh, tending to Feather Rock upstairs. And uh, now that's all. Okay, has there been any change to Feather Rock, or is he still completely unconscious? He's he's recovering. And okay. did he reply to the note? Uh, like you you go upstairs to see how he's doing. Yeah, yes. and yeah. All right, we'll no and let him know that we've fixed the problem. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll say uh, Tillis doesn't even recognize that you guys have walked in. He's busy dealing with mayor stuff. Uh, you go upstairs. Uh, Featherrock is actually in bed, but he's actually able to sit up, and uh, he's talking to Father Merrickson as uh, you guys walk in. Okay. Um. Well, I'll I'll walk up, and um, I'll say. So your wolf problem. Um, I think we've solved it. It it turns out you that you killed them. No, well, kind of. Um, we we They're had an sentient. encounter, and Feather Rock wasn't lying. He he isn't mad. The the wolves were talking. He kind of they had agreed. He kind of jumps on. up and he strains himself because he's in pain. He's like, "Yeah, ah, I told you, I told you, I'm not crazy." <laughs> ah, and he just kind of lays back down on the ground in pain, pulled a stitch. Erickson gets up and uh, walks over to you and uh, asks, "Is like, uh, so what happened?" It's like, well, first, we <laughs> we were attacked by an owlbear. And uh, I'll pull out the, the, the claw of the owlbear and just kind of put it onto the side. Um, it was vicious. It, it was nasty. It was horrible. <laughs> um, and after we, we had noticed that the, the owlbear had been in a fight, um, so we carried on in towards general direction with maps that you had provided to us and we found the encampment and Echo here had the great idea of trying to befriend them and it worked <laughs> lying through my teeth yeah, roll a deception <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay uh, I'm proficient let's go Yes, I'm the best liar ever. Um, yeah, that's a great role. So, All right, let's see. If you, you say that as your wife is cheering. Right, he, yeah. he, he believes you. Well, it would make more sense to say that the the ranger. Well, he, he believes you, them, so. But... There you go. So yeah, we befriended them, and they they have offered to protect the woods um, and no longer kill or steal livestock in return for control of that land. So no hunters to hunt on the land. And they just want to live their life in peace. And they say seem... he, he believes uh, Sorry, that... he believes everything you're saying and uh, he kind of turns the feather off and he gestures uh, to the party to uh, leave the room. And uh, as you guys leave the room outside the door, he says, uh, we'll need to we need to gather the council to discuss this. Please, meet me down. Let's go downstairs. Before you do, uh, may I just uh, point out they also offered protection from um, predators. Uh, if that may help you. He says, that's great information, but we need to bring this up to the council. Come. Okay. And he, uh, he leads you guys downstairs and he kind of puts his hand over on Tillis, who jumps up. He's obviously wrapped up in his work, and he realizes that you all have returned to, and uh, Merrickson says to him, our, uh, our adventurers have a solution to the wolf problem, and uh, we, need the, we need to gather the council to uh, hear the proposition. He's like, 
Oh, wonderful to hear. I will also gather the reward. Please, sit, get yourself some food, some drink. I will gather the council shortly. And uh, he gets up and skitters off and uh, obviously goes to gather the council. He, you can't hear what he says, but he gestures to you guys as he's talking to Leandra. And uh, she kind of nods and heads back into the kitchen. And uh, you are now given a small bit of respite in uh, the tables in the inn here. <sighs> I kind of look over and just say to the others, well, thank Christ that is over. <laughs> that was, yeah, that, that was something. Okay. I really hope they agree to this settlement because I, I don't know what will happen otherwise. Mm. <laughs> uh, Tillis, uh, well, sorry. Hey, stop it. Uh, Leandra comes uh, bearing some, uh, a very hearty breakfast for you guys and uh, whatever else you may need. Uh, she's eat up. All right, we'll give him give her a voice. Eat up, me hearties. If you need anything, you just let old Leandra know. I didn't have the oh, I didn't you. have the voices thing on. Whatever, it just happened. Um, <laughs> after ten minutes of uh, scarfing down some food and stuff, Tillis comes back in with some uh, other members of the council. Uh, Coral is also or uh, Coral is also joining him, and uh, they're all kind of bustling around trying to speak amongst each other to see what's going on tills hasn't said anything besides uh the council is needed to join in discussion of the wolf thing they're all just kind of figure out maybe what's going on they notice you guys in here too maybe that uh you guys are here to take care of them and uh tills goes up on the pedestal and knocks his gavel down order we have now been pro Oh. We have been provided with a solution to the wolf problem, I am told. These fine adventurers, these fine few, have come to us with knowledge. Sorry, dogs are freaking out. And a solution to our wolf problem. I am glad to present you the team here. Let us hope that this comes through with the greatest upcoming... Er, Outcome possible. I believe we are now free of the wolf scourge. Ah, oh, brave warriors, please come up. Present us what with your findings. Tell us your valiant deeds wiping out the wolf problem. <laughs> well, um, we haven't uh, wiped out the wolf problem, but we have managed to get rid of your wolf problem, per se. Now, the wolves aren't wolves. They they have gained sentience. They they are building uh, a home for themselves, just like we build homes for As ourselves. You say that, they All begin they kind of muttering amongst themselves, like what sentient wolves kind of stuff. They're they're kind of confused, but go on. Wonderful. It is absolutely outstanding how intelligent these creatures are, and they promise to offer you protection if you just let them hunt peacefully in the western part of the woods they will not come near you or your town and they will offer you protection and that is the settlement they you, will want to will agree with you start to hear you hear grumblings of uh like intelligent sentient wolves what craziness is this and then you also hear like wait feather rock is right and they're just kind of muttering to themselves and then uh attila speaks up and he's like wait you said that you were going to wipe them out. What are you coming here telling us that we should work or obey their demands? That is ridiculous. We did wipe out most of the wolves. We just... We ran into one dire wolf. And that is the only one that is going to be on the west part of the woods. Um, I can't stress this enough. They are peaceful. Be peaceful my behind they've been attacking us and stealing our sheep for months how could that be peaceful uh merrickson speaks up and he's like did you find any uh information on uh alexi my brother 
Uh, uh, <laughs> I literally just look up and say, we we found nothing. There was no sight, no news, no word of your brother. Roll deception. Oh no. Oops. Roll. Why can't I roll? Oh, I'm in the wrong, wrong roll. Uh, he doesn't believe you. Oh. Uh, but he barely doesn't believe you. He's not going to press the uh, manner for the matter, but uh, he doesn't necessarily um, believe you. Maybe, I'm sure that if you agree to settlement and we return, uh, we can then see if maybe they have any knowledge. Remember, the woods have many eyes, and they can be quite helpful, quite the asset. Uh, the, the townsfolk kind of mutter amongst themselves, and uh, Attilus obviously doesn't care. Uh, he, he wants them gone. Um, Merrickson speaks up and is like, hold on, my friends, hold on. This could be advantageous for both of us, or for both our, I don't know, our people and the wolves. I think we should hear out and discuss the matter. Until it's like, Marlex! Nonsense! These adventurers come here to swindle us out of our reward money and don't do the job they were hired to do. I say we kick them out and find a worthy party to take care of our problem. I look to him and say, you remind me of a dire wolf I w once met. <laughs> You're not so dissimilar, you know. He stands up on his tippy toes and tries, stares at you. He's like, you don't scare me. With your, and you want to know what that dire threats. wolf did? <laughs> he fell over and died. He fell over into a gigantic lightning bolt. <laughs> yeah. I moved, it didn't end well for I that dire wolf. I throw these adventurers out now. <laughs> and he goes he slams his gavel a couple times and then uh uh Coral speaks up and um say he says I forgot his voice. I, I see we bring it to a vote. Whether or not they should be able to work with the wolves anyway. Um I will let you guys each roll a persuasion check. And we'll God, take a total God, here. Hey. Oh, also, Pancock has the roll. Oh, Whoever gets the best God. roll, you'll just get pluses if you roll a five. Pancog. That's sad. I don't get it. Let's close okay. this. Pancog is going to roll persuasion. Where are you? That is a skill. Persuasion. Oh, she has a decent one. Okay, so, oof. So, two 13s, and so we'll give it a, a 5, because Corin rolled above a 10. So, as a collaborative group, how do I want to do this? Because there's five council members that you guys need to convince. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold mm -hmm. up. Hang on. I think I remember something here. I think I get advantages and stuff with anything to do with persuasion. Um, I might, yeah. Uh, with rogue, yeah. Yeah, um, I'm sure I do. Expertise. Oh, sorry, my expertise is in perception. Yeah. Not uh, persuasion. That's my bad, sorry. It's all good. Um, so, <clears throat> all right. I'm going to clear this, and then you guys are going to do it again. Same thing, persuasion. Oh, bollocks. Drop my thing. <laughs> oh, look at that roll! Big roll. <laughs> Yo. That's better. Also, pain oh, power. Look at those 20s! <laughs> yes! Yo. Oh my okay. gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, that one was massive. All right, roll. do it one more time. <laughs> So you got two, ah. four, five, Ugh. six. Okay. 
you are able to convince two of the three other part uh, uh two of the three other members of the council coral agrees with you and so does father merrickson uh tillis obviously disagrees with you but and two other ones are unsure or disagree but the vote comes out ahead that yes work with the wolves uh tillis awesome reacts with shock and horror at being outvoted uh goes into a, a blustering rage of like this is ridiculous i can't believe sentient wolves they're nothing but animals i can't believe we're even bringing this up to a vote this is beyond ridiculous i say we move and then merrickson comes over puts his hand on his uh screaming shoulder and uh just kind of stares at him and says the council has voted and spoken. And uh, he kind of <sighs> kind of huffs to himself a couple times and finally can maintain, brings his composure back and uh, understands that he has lost. And uh, after a, a moment, he, uh, he kind of walks out but accepts that uh, he's, uh, his vote has been defeated. Awesome. All right. We need to get back to the wolves and tell them that it is agreed. Yes. Um, is there anything else? Well, there's nothing else in town we really have to do because all of the bulletin boards were saying that it's just the wolf problem, just the wolf problem, wolf this, wolf that. The brother. Mm -hmm. So I think the first thing we should do is we should. We should I, I'm going I'm, I'm to ask the mayor if. Um, he can gather everyone that he can um, to the inn and let them know the news as soon as possible. Excuse me. So there's no more fear, there's no more confusion, there's no accidental fighting between and humans. And stay out of the West, yeah. Yeah, basically get him to relay the message to them whilst we make our way over to let um, Bolt know what, uh, that it's been accepted, basically. Right. Um, he, he gestures to you and says, yes, yes, we... That 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 will already be taken care of. Please. Here's your reward. He drops a big old sack of money in front of you guys. Uh, so, so essentially, you each get 200 gold. Go ahead and add that to your thing. Um, and he says, We cannot thank you enough. We Hell yeah, dude. I really hope that uh, our, this agreement will benefit both our species and... Uh, will be upheld by both of us as well. We will send out a message to uh, the townsfolk as well. And hopefully this can this will all remain to be resolved amicably. And uh, the rest of the council kind of, with their job done, kind of go out to prepare to tell the rest of the townsfolk uh, the news and what is happening. Um, as they leave, Merrickson is kind of looking at them each leave and bidding them all farewell. And uh, he sl he kind of walks up to you guys still with the, your plates of the, and kind of waves over some drink uh, from Leandra and sits and sit slides in next to you guys, sits down and says, So, about my brother. I know that you have not told me the whole truth. I wish to know what you know. I'll be honest, I've completely forgotten. I completely forgot about the brother. I, I, I was like, so I, loved. I, I completely That's, forgot. Uh, also. That, his brother is the guy that uh, the wolves encountered with the flash of light. He's the light bringer. The light oh, he's bringer. the light bringer. Yes. Oh. Th this is out. We... This is player knowledge reminding you guys what it is, not a. <laughs> okay. He doesn't say that. Okay. okay. Right. Your your brother doesn't seem to be deceased. He does seem to be still missing. Um, but as I said, the wolves could be a great asset in regards to eyes, and I'm sure they've encountered him before. Uh, he is dead. Uh, okay. Uh, the brother. Uh, the the wolf. He died at the kind of at the hands of the wolves, but the flash of light is pretty much what probably took him out. But he was under okay. attack by the wolves. 
It's okay. So <laughs> we didn't. I mean, if we see the body, like but we know 100% he's dead, right? Yes. Okay. Well, we can say that it was actually the brother, it was your brother that gave wolves this power, per se. We're well, not gave it to them. He he came, and then a light flashed and appeared. Your brother was was no more, and the wolves had gained intelligence and sentience. Um, so by by all means, don't believe that it was the wolves that did it to your brother. It was by all means. It seems like magic. He kind of nods to himself and says, "So he is dead then." The timing lines up. I guess I was uh was just in denial this whole time. Was hoping for the best, but uh, I, a little part of me always knew. But it's interesting to think um. that. Somehow, he affected this change in the wolves. It's quite curious. But uh, I, well, I will we... say I'm glad to finally be at peace, knowing that uh, he, he has left this plane. Um, we're sorry for your loss. And, but as in regards to the magic, it's not unseen to us. We have seen it in other places. There was a, a group of rats that also gained sentience in, in another village. And it seems to be going round to different towns. So, in fact, that's what we're looking at at the moment. He says, curious. Well, I do hope that you're able to find the... whatever's causing these anomalies. And I do wish you fond farewell. And pleasant journey. Please excuse me, my friends. I have other matters to attend to. And uh, as he gets before up... Before he leaves, uh -huh. as he turns, I put my hand on his shoulder and say, Before you go, did... Just to help us with our, uh, our look, did your brother perhaps leave behind a journal, uh, notes, anything that he might have written down to explain this light power? Was he involved in any sort of magic? Uh, well, they both are. They're kind of, um, they're kind of priests, priest type people. Okay. Um, he said, but uh, he responds and is like, "Well, yeah, we we do have a uh, knowledge over the arcane. Uh, I don't know what would cause this flash of light, as you say. Uh, it could be any number of things. Uh." Those in our profession, most of uh, our arcane abilities cause some sort of flash of light. Um, but at this point, I guess we would never know. Did your brother have any enemies? <laughs> I'm just thinking He chuckles to himself. <laughs> Alexi was loved by all. Hmm. And before you go, just one last question. I'm so sorry to keep pressing you, but... He didn't seem to delve into dark magics at all, or seem to be interested in dark arts, or...? No. Lexi was a very kind-hearted person, always looking out for others above his own self-interests. There's a reason why he's called the Lightbringer. And, uh, he kind of taps the table, and, uh, as a tear rolls down his eye, uh, he, he walks away and he goes back up to Featherrock's room. Uh, to check on him and make sure things are good. Okay. Um... To the wolves? No, to to Feather Rock. <laughs> no, I mean, like, we do we go to, to the wolves? Oh, we go you to go wolves. to the wolves. Gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think yeah. we should go to the wolves. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, we can just we'll skip through all that. Um, essentially, you yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you can uh. You you present that your whatever uh, bolt's proposal was accepted by vote of the uh, the council and uh, they agree to uh, his proposal and he kind of thanks you. Um, he's still obviously hurt and uh, his pack is grieving uh, for the loss of some of their their family members, especially uh, the loss of flame. 
Um, but they all uh, let you approach and leave without incident. Perfect. So they're all caught up now. They know that. They know that's all fine. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Our job is done. Our Your job, job is, done. is done, and you guys are two hundred gold richer. Hell yeah! So um, yeah, that's I'd say we start heading our way. Money. Right. I say we start making our way back to town. Um, yeah. maybe another like two hours or four hours. Sorry. You going back to Raska or Welton? Uh, well, there's nothing else in Welton really. Yep. They they had the wolf problem. Um, we so should I... tell Raska. A... Sorry, we should tell the wizard and Raska about um the magic we experienced here as well because he's investigating. Hmm. That sounds smart. So you guys are uh, gonna head back to Raska? Oh, yes. Cool. Back to Raska it is then. All right. Well, with heading back to Raska, I think that's gonna wrap up tonight's session. That sounds good. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> what, you guys have fun. Did you enjoy it? Great fun. Cool. Great yeah. fun. That was good. That was awesome. That was awesome, my dude. Uh, Rock. Yeah, that, that battle was. Yeah. That was amazing. That was Hopefully, cool. yep. um, the plan is next week. Uh, Rokax should be back. And hopefully you guys will be able to investigate that strange um, cave, chasm, whatever hole that happened in Raska. Hopefully you guys figure out what's going on there. And uh, yes. I'm looking forward to it. Something uh, cool should be happening around then as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up. Anything you guys got to say? Questions, comments, suggestions? Oh, absolutely fantastic, my dude. Great session. Yeah, that was Amazing good, session. yeah. Okay. Loved it. I enjoyed that one. That was a great session. I enjoyed it. Cool. We'll have to fill in Pancog because if you guys recall, she beheaded two of the wolves in that first combat. <laughs> so we'll have to see what. She's going to be mad that yeah. Kieran went down twice. She's going to be yeah. like, I yep. am out for <laughs> <laughs> Well, animal companions aren't. Well, especially unless you take like a bear or something, they are squishy as heck. But I think later on mm. you can have yeah. spells cast through. <clears throat> Your animal companion, which is pretty dope. Yeah, because I think I'll get a pseudo dragon at some point. Yeah, oh, actually, I think yo. you can get that now. Um, you might want to look yeah. that up, uh, Miss Creation, and message me on Discord or whatever. Have a look. Yeah, in that, I, I think I do have it on my D and D Beyond, and I think um maybe. I think you choose sure I... which one you want. Yeah. Um, but yeah. af after the session, I'll go get you a character model that you can have. I'll read up on them, see how they work. And then uh, I think you can actually awesome. cast spells through them as well. So your range nice. essentially gets awesome. better. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up. Uh, let's say goodbye to chat. Let you guys go do about your business. Eat your foods. All right, stuff. guys. You have a good night. I'm going to make dinner because it's 20. Tally ho. <laughs> yes. All right. See you guys later. Have a good night. Later, Bye. my friends. See you later, dude. Yeah, have a good night. Good night. All right, my friends. I have to pee so very bad, but I hope you guys had fun. Um, that was the Wolves of Welton. Um, I hope you guys had fun uh, tuning in and watching how everything played out. Uh, hopefully we get Pancog next week, and uh, hopefully Rokax is able to make it indeed. We'll have to catch him up as to what has happened. Uh, but if you guys liked it, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps us out a lot. Let's me know you like, what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps me out. Or very rewarding experience and helps those rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive, DM. Uh, we are quarantine here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. We'll catch you guys next time. See ya! Come on, let's go party. Yeah, I gotta go party too. Mwah.